Welcome everybody to Tunes Day Night. I'm your host MC Tune, and uh, we have got a debate scheduled for tonight. <clears throat> I have a uh, cough drop in my mouth. In case you're wondering, I've got a little little cold going. Hopefully that's all it is. Um, the debate is with New Moon, who is from India, and I have him connected in my Discord server in the debate voice chat. So if people want to join in there, you can, um, but please don't um, jump into the debate and tell them, I mean, if you want, you can come in afterwards and um, and uh, participate with whoever is there after. Uh, and if anybody in the, the YouTube chat wants to pop the, uh, the Discord invitation link in there, that would be great. So uh, with that, uh, New Moon, how are you doing? He's, uh, there you go. Yeah, I'm doing great. So, how are you doing, Mick Jun? I am super. I'm, yeah, nice. I'm doing well. So what's, so, what's your format of debating? What's my what? What's your format? My like format? Like, you have some specific format? Oh, I, I usually do prefer a format, but I've found that Flat Earthers usually do not prefer a format, so I've actually kind of stopped asking for the most part. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, you can uh, you can tell me like uh, how you start the debate usually. Like, do you start with some introduction or something else? Yeah. Well, the 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 format I like the best is just where we take turns and we stick to a topic. So one person would present um, their claim, spend five minutes on it. The other person would have a chance immediately to respond to that claim. Um, okay. And both of those then are uninterrupted. And then once those are both done, then an open time of discussion. Um, so usually five minutes for the presentation, five for a rebuttal, and then 10 for open discussion. And then we just trade trade off who's doing the presenting um, and do that. Usually if you do that uh, a total of four times, everybody presents twice, everybody rebuts twice, and there's a total of four yeah. um, discussions. And uh, that's that's a good amount of time. So I don't know if you want to do that. I'm I'm happy. Oh um, no no I'll go uh, okay. So I'll go with mine. Say uh, I will put my arguments and uh, let me try to right. carry on the debate. So first of all, okay, I'll introduce myself. Like uh, I have I am flattered since last uh, one and two years almost. So I'm. Uh, like uh, I become flat earther, uh, just not because like I don't understand cosmology or something, just because like it makes sense for me. And uh, like if I uh, turn on my video, then can you see me in the screen? Um, I think so. Oh wait, because I'm also doing something. Because I'm first time here for the debate. Oh, uh, still, man, wait. Oh, no, it's not working. Yeah, I don't see anything. <laughs> okay, no problem. Yeah, so I'm uh, going to start with, I'm not going to start with the cliche uh, argument like uh, we have long distance observations and uh, like it's like it's like I consider it like a globe depth uh, argument, but uh, because uh, uh, we like to talk about, you always like to talk about uh, refraction, right? So I don't want to talk about the refraction because uh, like we all, all know that the refraction band lights towards the more dense medium and towards the earth. So refraction will uh, like indeed it will hide the things, not it will like you cannot do long distance of observation because of refraction. So what's your uh, stand on it? um what's my stand on refraction yeah uh it works and snell's, <laughs> snell's oh, law is consistent yeah okay I so see, are you I saying that snell's law okay yeah uh, can you hear me now yeah uh, can you like see ah, i see okay, you i hear okay. you yeah. So, uh, like, so, what's your uh, opinion about the long distance observations? Like, we have many uh, flat earthers. We have uh, many long distance observations. 
so it's like it's uh, like completely uh, blowing and destroying the globe uh, destroying the radius everything so how you deal with it um well are we going to go with the format or okay or uh, just a discussion so, okay you go with the format yeah I mean, yeah. If we're going to do the format, then you present for five minutes and I won't talk. Five minutes. Uh, yeah. you no, know, we can go back and forth for every argument. What it? Uh, oh, all right. So you, you you don't want to have a, a a structure. Okay, that, that's fine. Okay. So so what about the long distance observations? Well, every single one I've ever looked at matches the globe. So if you have any one particular one, we could go through it, and I you could give uh, all I need is is the the location of the observer, latitude, longitude, for example, and the uh, location mm -hmm. of the the distant thing that is being looked at, uh, the elevation of the observer, and general weather conditions if you don't have specific uh, lapse rate measured. And then I'll tell you the globe prediction. And then uh, to be fair, mm -hmm. you should then you know tell me the flat earth prediction so then we can compare to see which one matches closest. Oh that, yeah, that, uh, that like I said, you are like it's a cliche argument, so I don't want to. So I like, we have argued. Everyone has listened to it uh, so many times. So like because like I'm from India, so like I will start from Isro. Like I don't know very much about. Uh, I don't follow Isro. I I follow Isro as much as you. Uh, but I'll start with it. Like Isro just uh, launched. Uh, you know that Isro just landed uh, on Moon and. They think that they landed, but uh, if you know that there are only four countries who supposedly landed on the moon, and everyone has the free nation in them. so why is that? Why what? Why there is a free nation symbol in every space agency who landed on the moon, like uh, NASA, uh, Roscosmos, and uh, the Chinese space agency is, and uh, ISRO, Indian space agency. Oh, All I, four have the same I don't, uh, yeah. vector symbol. Yeah. I, I don't know and I don't care. That's not evidence for flat Earth. It cannot be a coincidence. Okay, if you think that it is a coincidence, then I'll show you uh, more things. Uh, like, uh, like I'm, I got late for the video, otherwise, like I can't do so many things. But still, if I can share the screen through my mobile, is it possible? Like it's uh, early morning here. It's just uh, uh, early morning, five thirty a.m. Yeah. So I, okay. I don't know. I'm uh, I, I guess I guess we could call tech yeah. support. <laughs> yeah. So uh can, like I can share a screen for mobile wait. Uh, uh, if uh, I don't know. I don't I don't do much on mobile on Discord. So if, okay, so if what it if lets I share you then, the mobile screen, yeah, then yeah. I will give it to you. I will like give one to you to you. Yeah, uh, I can I mean I can see your your face. So if you can present that, mm -hmm. you maybe can uh, present something on your screen. I don't know. Oh wait, uh, I think there is an option. Are you? Are you? Is what yeah. I'm looking at your computer screen or your your uh, mobile? Uh, I'm on mobile, so I'll, I'll share the screen. Wait, okay. I, I know how to share it. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. So can you see the screen now? No. Okay, really? You can't no, see the screen? I don't I don't see anything. No. no. Now you can see maybe nothing. On Discord. Nothing. Really? How it works, man. Oh man, how how it will work. Y you could um you could paste whatever it is that you wanted into the debate text chat, and then it'll, uh, I can pull it up. Okay. So now you cannot see the screen, right? Correct. So I'll paste it in the Discord, wait, Discord chat, right? So you can talk uh, to that time. Yeah, in the, in the debate text. Sure. Yeah, so till that time you talk, I'm figuring out how to do this. Okay. okay. All right. Until that time. Uh, 
I eat chicken and turkey, which are birds, says Twitch. Yeah, um, I don't know. I think uh, I think people that think birds are real are, are definitely wrong. I mean, definitely birds aren't aren't real. Um, all right, well, uh, Serene News 1 says, do you have pics of them not landing on the moon? <laughs> That's not actually how it works, Serene News 1, but you know that. Um, MK Ultra says, let's say there's a Freemason symbol everywhere, and it's not a coincidence. How is that evidence for the shape of anything? Of course it's not. Yeah, it, uh, it, it could be... It could be that the Freemasons are in control of everything. I don't think they are. I think that's ridiculous. But that doesn't change the shape of anything. There's there's no implied shape uh, with related to uh, any group of people doing anything. So. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I'll uh, wait, man. Okay. So I'll give you some uh, images if you can show that. Right. Okay. So, First, right, and the second one. Like first, I'm going through um, Indian Space Agency. I don't follow them very much, but still, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't either. I don't need any space agency <laughs> yeah, to tell me what shape the Earth is. I just like, want to no, I follow myself. other like I follow ESA and NASA very much like, for my research purposes. Oh, you follow them more than I do, probably. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like, by the way, I'm not from science background in academic studies, but I know lo a lot about it. You're you not, will, uh, you're not from science, but you know a lot about it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like, it's not important to go to uh, to choose the science subject to learn about science. I think that. Okay. Like, I choose business studies, but I know, and, and yeah. So I put some pictures, right, uh, below that, two pictures, and the people who are the, just preparing the propulsion module, uh, uh, right, and the propulsion module having a symbol of Wait. check me, uh, where, of where checkerboard, did, where and did the you, chessboard. Where yeah. did you put them? Uh, and debate text. Okay, oh, uh, sorry, I, don't see I, that. I have to put in my thing. Yeah, I put it in debate text. Do you want me to put in uh, your uh, direct message? Um. Well, I, I have I have debate text up right now, so I'm looking at it on my uh, and it's going out to YouTube, but no, I don't see it anywhere that you you posted it. Maybe there's a different debate text on my Discord server. I've really? got a lot of I've got a lot of rooms on my Discord server, but uh, yeah, it's uh, hashtag debate text, and the last one is like someone has sent the moon picture of yeah. uh, Polo in like nineteen seventy two. Yeah, okay. yeah, so you see that, okay? Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I don't, and I, don't I have see put you... some pictures. Uh, you can see I have put, put two pictures there. <laughs> Can't you see that? Okay, it's sending, still sending. I don't know why the internet oh. is not working very properly. Well, yeah, it's it's probably sending it um through the Starlink satellites. <laughs> no, it's just uh, undersea cables. You know that. Uh, well, it's I mean, nothing. unless you have Starlink service, then it's not undersea cables. <laughs> Yeah. Have, have um, you ever used like, internet over Starlink? I have. My my sister Starlink. lives. My sister lives in in a not near a town, and uh, they have really slow DSL until they got Starlink, okay. and their Starlink is uh, pretty sweet. Oh, yeah. So if you can open the Google, and uh, you search, no, no, uh, wait. Yeah, so I think. Uh, All right, I'll I'll open the. I, I want to say like there's there's a checkerboard symbol on the propulsion module of uh, ISRO. So why they put there? Like because science put everything. Okay. Because right, of some on. reasons. So what's the Let's reason? I S R O. What was it? Lander. Uh, I think it's propulsion module. Propo propulsion module. All right, hold on. Yeah. All right, I'll put it up on my um, the the YouTube screen here. Just a second. <coughs> okay, I'll go to your YouTube now. 
Right. All right. There we go. So there's the results of it coming up right now. Uh, so the propulsion module, um, I yeah. don't see on these initially here, I don't see any checkerboard patterns. I don't know what, oh, what you're referring to. And I don't see any, any with uh, checkerboard patterns. Really? But, yeah. But now, um, do, do you know, do you know that in, um, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's not, maybe it's not in India, but in the United States, checkerboard is, is actually powered by ska. Uh, the music that is called ska is is um, is what mm -hmm. makes checkerboard patterns. Did you did you know that? Yeah. If you if you, in fact if you uh, listen if you listen no. to ska, your shoes, whether you like it or not, your shoes will get a checkerboard pattern. And the more you listen, the more um, distinct the checkerboard pattern will be. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what, why they put that everywhere. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, I, but I, I'm not seeing it. Um, so really? is the, yeah. So I just typed ISRO propulsion module. Yeah. And uh, the first one is the crew module propulsion system for, and then some. Uh, it looks like an Indian word. I can't spell. But uh, oh, there you go. Okay. Here's yours. Yeah. Here's yours. Yeah, okay. you saw it. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So. Oh. This is yours. So there is no reason. You, you said Freemason checker is what you search for. Oh, yeah. Right yeah so why okay. would someone put a, a checkerboard symbol in the propulsion module? There's no reason uh, in science but, to but, everything with reason. But and, where is, but I'm not seeing the, I'm not seeing the checkerboard on the ISRO uh, propulsion module, really? though. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh. Um, but I mean, maybe, maybe it's just, maybe it's, has nothing to do with Freemasons because, uh, you know, if you searched for Scott checkerboard, you get, mm -hmm. you get a bunch of stuff here. Right. So, so, you know, I, I would say it's equally likely that the, um, the people that are in charge of the uh, the module, if it's on there, I'll take your word for it that it's on there. I would say it's equally likely that they uh, they're big fans of ska. Um, yeah, there's there's some ska shoes there. Um, there you go. So, yeah. all right. Oh, hey, there it is. I see them. Yeah, I see the. Uh, yeah. All right. Let's let's put it up there. on the big screen there for you there it is um zoom out it's a little too zoomed in there it is all right so there it is on the module so why is it okay. on the module I, I would say i would say it's it's very much that they love ska i mean who doesn't who doesn't love ska but who are you talking about indian space agency or yeah yeah, I would say exactly the Indian Space Agency loves ska. It's just as likely. So why? It's just as likely because ska is all about the checkerboard, um, in fact. So, um, oh, okay. yeah. All right. I'm, I'm, I had a poll up before. I'm going to put up a new poll. So I'm ending the first poll. Uh, is PJC Net a PO? 58% say yes, 41% say no. Um, new poll. Ska. There it is. That's the new the new poll is Ska. Do you like Ska? All right. So um anyway, I would I would say, and, and I mean Carnivore had it, but I that's uh absolutely uh I agree. It it could very well be for um for calibration for cameras. So there you go. Daryl Frost says it's for thermal okay. expansion mitigation. So I, I don't know. Um so, uh, 
so so far though um this is evidence for nothing this is evidence that there's checkerboards on the propulsion unit so um and and the the meaning of that is unclear because uh, I, you found a place that uses checkerboards i found a place that uses checkerboards which one is the one that they were thinking of well it certainly could be what daryl frost said or what carnivore said Carnivore says uh, he quoted checkerboard calibration computes intrinsic parameters such as lens and perspective distortion. They also generate image correctors that take the image captured by the camera as an input and generate images that are free of these distortions. So okay. that, that that also makes sense. I I prefer the SCA uh, answer myself, uh, but uh, but you know, other people are free to choose that it's for something as banal as, yeah. as uh, calibrating if a camera. Can, sure. Like my screen is showing to the YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. So there is a checkerboard and yeah. Yeah. There, this, yep. yeah, there is the checkerboard symbol on the module. And this is uh, even uh, inside the panel. They are yeah. putting it. So there is no reason. And if you are saying so, uh, okay, so we will leave that point. So like it was just for <laughs> introduction. So like I know that uh, they are faking everything. And uh, like you can look at that, uh, look at it. And uh, and how they fake it, like you might think like uh, they know that the earth is flat and uh, we think that they know that the earth is flat and they are faking it now. Uh, they are just faking it because they cannot do a uh, real thing. So they are faking it. It's as simple as that. Like if I give you, for example, like you know EHT, uh, you know EHT, uh, you remember like who posted the black hole image in 2019? Event Horizon Telescope, do you remember what? it? Event Horizon? Telescope who, who gave and gave the first black hole image in 2019. Oh, the, 2019. the first black hole image. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So it was looking right. so big. How, like, uh, like if they fake, so why they fake? Because they think that black hole looks like it, but even their black hole was not uh, completely spherical, and they just put something in. And because it was like they was thinking like, okay, black hole looks like this, so why don't we fake it? Because if we fake it, then we will get the money and the power that they are looking for from so, since last so, ten or so twenty right, years. Hold, hold so they will get it easily. Oh, they got you. Got to yeah. slow down a so little they, there. You got to slow down a little. Um, people, it, all right, I. Oh. I, I love your accent. I gotta say, uh, in, yeah, Indi Indian Indian food, is Indian food is the best food in the world. Anywhere that you go on the globe, oh, really? Indian food is the best place. Absolutely. Um, but it it is a little hard to, to understand for our audience. I think so. Maybe if you talk a little bit slower, it'll help. Okay, I'll talk slowly now. Yeah. Um, okay. So. Uh, uh, all right, somebody's saying. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, I don't know where you're going with this. You, you think that somehow the that the black hole uh, image that they they presented in 2019 is is evidence for what? Like I was just giving example. Like uh, I we don't say that uh, the space agencies are if they are lying, then they know that the Earth is flat, or they know the truth. Because they don't know the truth, uh, they just have an idea that black hole looks like it, and they think that black hole exists. So whenever they uh, like try to, they are using their telescope to capture the black hole, but they put their like years and money and uh, their time, and they get frustrated after, and then they think, okay, let's fake it. So it's it's happened like that. Like NASA, or NASA also did the same thing, uh, 50, 60 years back. Uh, they was thinking that we'll go to space and uh, Earth is a ball, <laughs> but uh, they can't go there. And like, if you go to, uh, there is a mural in NASA. There is a NASA swimming pool, you know that. And there is a mural and there is a rocket that is trying to destroy the ceiling of uh, in that mural. So they think that they will go to the space one day. Okay, but, but they can't. But go. new moon, new moon. <laughs> the, in in a debate. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I'll help you out here, buddy. I got it. all right. Here it is. I got. I don't. Are you looking at the the YouTube uh, stream? No, I can't look it because I'm from mobile. My okay. other phone is right. well, like uh, not supporting live. I didn't know why. 
Like I have other phones also. All right. Well, I have a like, book. I have a book. I, these are not supporting. All right. Just a second. I have a book. I don't know. Why. Called the the debater's guide, and in this in this book here, um, right here, it it uh, it has a uh, a little, you know, just a little overview on on how you kind of structure your debate. Um, so you have your position, and and then you you, you make your claim, right? And uh, you use data to support that claim, and you use what's called a warrant. Mm. That would be your um, your explanation, your logical explanation that ties your data and your claim together. So oh, no, no, uh, like we don't know need the data. Like we just need to destroy the globe, and then the by default Earth is flat. Right. Uh, no, so, not at all. There, there's no, no, there's no the default. There, there's no such thing as a default. Right? That's a that's a logical fallacy. Uh, that that uh, that just by default it's you flat. No, but no, not at all. If if it's not one thing, then it's an infinite other infinite number of other things that it could potentially be. Now you claim specifically that it is flat, right? Do you know, like you are thinking that I'm too and uh, you can like I don't know anything. But okay, if you give me two minutes, then I'll tell you why it is. But but uh, just to be clear, d do you think the Earth is flat? Yeah, of course. Okay, all right. So that's your claim, and so in a debate, then you have you, you, your per your part of the debate is to then you know present the the claim, the data, and the warrant for that position. Yeah. And so far, you've you've said that there's there's a, a checkerboard pattern on on a lander, which is meaningless, and uh, you've you've said that uh, there's a picture of a black hole, and I don't know what that means. You haven't provided a, a mm -hmm. warrant for how that black hole might uh, might somehow I imply that the Earth is flat. So, uh, I, I mean, it's it's no. so far not gone very that far. That was just started. Yeah. Okay, that was just the starting. Okay, uh, you said that uh, like burden of proof is on flat earth. Okay, so if you burden give me proof two is minutes, on everybody, then I'll tell you why. So it's on everybody. Wait, really? It's on everybody. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So I'll tell you why it's not. Okay. So uh, listen, we, I, uninterrupted. Like we have, uh, like uh, the Earth is flat. It is a uh, not a shape. It is a by default position, and that's why uh, before 14th century, no one was talking about the shape is the earth like everyone know that the we live on earth and earth is like earth is earth like we live on levels or it will be levels so if you make it a globe if you are giving it a shape then the burden of evidence is on you that you have to uh, support that thing and uh, we don't need to support and you will say that okay if not globe if not flat there could be other uh, shapes also do you think that do you think that do that there that could what? be other shapes also. That there could the be other shapes? Well, there are people that think that like, it's hollow. There are people that think we live on the inside of the sphere. There is a guy named yeah. Jamie Rowe that thinks that the Earth is two planes with some sort of a magic portal at donut. the... at the No, no, donut. Yeah. No, not a donut. He thinks that okay. it's a, a two planes, uh, one that's a north pole to the equator and one that's a south pole to the equator, and that there's some sort of a magic portal between them at the equator. That the sun is, okay. and that they're facing away from each other, and that somehow the sun is in okay, between, <laughs> and then somehow the light from the sun magically gets teleported around in a big old loop to people. That there's there's a number of different uh, ideas uh, that people have. Okay, so I'll tell you why all ideas are wrong. What if what if uh, what if I tell you? Okay. Do you believe in downward vector? There is a downward vector, yes. There's an acceleration downward. Okay, so if you have a plumb bob, uh, if you are in a United States, if you have a plumb bob, then, and if I'm from India and I have a plumb bob, if someone is on equator, you have a plumb bob, then what the all plumb bob lines, if you, like, in, uh, what where all the lines will meet if you go through the, uh, inside the earth? plumb bob lines are going inside the earth. Yeah, on, on, a, on a globe, all the plumb bob uh, verticals would uh, would tend towards each other. Means they will meet there. Some means somewhere. Uh, like even if you, if I give you a distance of one kilometer of radius, then they will meet in the center of the earth in one kilometer radius, right? 
Sure. That's a good approximation. Right? Yeah. Yeah, if I give you one kilometer because of the base center point. So, okay. So, so okay. Uh, if you can see my notebook, then I'll draw some picture here to tell you why you're wrong here. Right? Okay. Wait, I'll draw it. So, now I'm telling you that only two shapes are possible. One is a perfect sphere, and the other one is flat. Why? Because of plumb ball. Because if you have a perfect sphere, if you are here, right, and this is the center of the Earth, on a perfect sphere, this is the center, one plumb ball here will meet here. One will meet here, one will meet here, and south hole will meet here. This will meet here, right? So you can do a tangent. You can uh, create a tangent there. This is your tangent. So the tangent will be uh, 90 degree, right? The tangent is 90 degree. And okay. the tangent will always should be parallel to the sea level. Are you getting my point? The, pen, the tangent should, uh, like, the plumb box should always, uh, like, make a 90 degree angle with the sea level. Yep. Do you know that? Yep. Yeah, so there could be only two shapes. One is uh, flatter, where all plumb balls are parallel, right? And the other one is a perfect sphere, not a oblate sphere. Because if it is a uh, oblate sphere, I disagree. Wait, wait, you, you don't understand because you, you have never and you have never sent this argument. It's my argument, right? So it's new for me. So if you have a shape like this, right? Uh, it's it's the center, right? Uh, so well, if you're, there you're, is a plumb for ball, some reason your your camera it, is not updating well. It's uh, but um, okay, I, I'll I can take your description. Right? Uh, yeah. So if it is the if the Earth is an oval, right? It's an oval that is right. And uh, ellipsoid, right? ellipsoid. Yeah. So this yeah. is the equator. I'm not talking about the equator. So. If someone is there, he put the plumb up, matching with the sea level, matching a parallel with the tangent, and the plumb up lines are meeting to the center of the earth. But if someone is there, just imagine if someone is there, then the sea level is here, and his plumb up, his plumb up will 90 degree angle, will meet here. Okay. It is destroying the globe. So, so it is destroying the oblate spheroid, right? So well, only if the no measurements you can, look only if no way. only if measurements support your claim. Yeah, there is no yeah. way. Like you cannot say that the Earth is oblate spheroid. Why not? Uh, there is no way to tell. <laughs> I yeah. told you that the, the, the shape of the Earth is, is determined work. not by empty claims, but by measuring it. Uh, you know, you don't know the WGS84 uh, model. What that says? That doesn't say that the Earth is a perfect sphere. I, if, I, if I understand. Yeah, sphere, exactly. that not... yeah, WGS84 yeah. is an ellipsoid. So is Bessel and Clark and several others. Um, but but that's not even as precise as uh, some of the newer ones. Anything yeah. I told you one thing that only a perfect sphere. This could be the shape and nothing else. I disagree. I disagree positions, right? with because your assertion. Bro, plumb bob lines will not meet the center of the earth. It will go somewhere else. If you make a triangle, then the plumb bob how the gravity. Yeah. So, so like as you, you as you matter? said, you said earlier, you make it a triangle. Uh, yeah, you on. make it a triangle. Hold on, hold on, Newman. Uh, how, how will everything go? J just a second. Down the, just the a second. Level. Just a second. It can be an ellipsoid, and they will not meet perfectly necessarily. Actually, if it's a geoid, they certainly won't meet perfectly because because there are slight variations in in the uh, gravitational you, field. You are trapped there. I've given you a discount of only one kilometer. Now you're saying some will go there, some will go there. Then where is the center of the Earth? Where is the center of the gravity? Yeah. You don't so, understand anything. Uh, you don't I, understand physics now. I'm, I think. I'm sorry. I certainly uh, do. You, like, like, okay, I, 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 I think you have, Hold on, to give, you have to give some time. You have to give some time what I said. And I think I'll make an animation and send it to you. 
and then he will understand it. All right, new moon, new moon. Just it's just for like, reference, for reference. Yeah. I've got I've got uh, David Brock asks, but which version of WGS eighty four? That's a really good question. Which one were you referring to? The three nine five nine radius version. Yeah, but there's there's several different versions of WGS eighty four. They've, yeah, I don't they, they've updated a few that. times yeah, in the last uh, You have different kinds of models to explain electromagnetism, to explain sea level. There are different kinds of models for everything. Like there is no single model for global health. And it even anything, nothing works. And no, that's nothing it. works. Really? Yeah, well then works, how, so. how does long range how does long range navigation work then? Because certainly airplanes get where they're going for the most part, right? <laughs> How right. long range navigation and, works. and, and so long range navigation control. uses the globe. Yeah, you can use the globe. So what? Uh, because uh, you we we also use a flat map, but you but consider all of that all of the yeah all of the the nautical charts are projections. You look at the nautical chart for uh, air air mm -hmm. uh, air flight air charts, and they're Lambert conformal conformal conic projections from the globe. And there's two secant lines. I know this right on my wall right there, right right behind me on the wall, I have a whole bunch of Lambert conformal uh, conic projections on my wall that I put together. And I do know that each of those has two secant lines where the, the, uh, the horizontal scale is correct. And above and below those secant lines, they're not. And they're, uh, they're not correct by a predicted amount matching the globe. If you tape them together, that's what I. That's why I have those there. If you tape them together right on the boundaries, and then put them, put them together, they will form a sphere. Yeah, you can make a mathematical model. You, I also play computer games. They are mathematical models. They are real. All right, hold, hold. I didn't it's understand. Not real. The it, Earth, the uh, Earth is. Uh, uh, you know that. Uh, like you know, uh, like I also, uh, uh, like uh, seen your channels, uh, and there is a guy, and uh, there is a person named PhD Tony. He do surveys and he do surveys on a flat earth. <laughs> so Earth is measured flat every time, right? So well, then send understand. send the measurements. <laughs> you can ask PhD Tony. He do the surveys in flat earth. PhD Tony will make flat. it very clear to you that the earth is not flat and that those measurements do not support your assertion. Now, I got to remind you, I got to remind you again, in the debater's guide, I mentioned earlier, it's page 22, you have data claim warrant. Now, when you make a claim and there's no data, then none of it matters. Mm -hmm. So if you say, if you claim uh, about earth measuring flat mm -hmm. and provide no data, then it doesn't matter. You, you've you've mm -hmm. not actually made an argument yet. Oh. So what's your best proof of globe? I'll, I'll listen. A deflection. Got it. Got it. All right. Deflection? Uh, I, what? Deflection? De deflection, yeah. You are the one asserting that the Earth is flat. Right? And you mm -hmm. wanted you wanted this. And, and so far, you've not presented any evidence at all. You've not... Pre pre nothing there's exactly zero data you've made claims but provided zero data and and no warrant for any of it either just claims so um i mean i, it, I it's uh, it's expected uh and i appreciate that you're you're unable to do it but um anyway uh yeah i will uh i will do i will do the opposite of what you have done i will instead of of making a claim with no data i will make a claim with data uh, and I will do that. Let's see here. Is this the page that I want? This is not. Here we go. Now, people have been measuring uh, the shape of the Earth for for quite a long time, and I will go with, uh, I'm going to reference something that is uh, hopefully near and dear to your heart there, my good friend, New Moon. Um, I'm... Uh, there, there was a survey across um, the uh, meta, meta, di dionical, meta dionical arc of India 
between the parallels of 18 degrees 3 minutes and 29 degrees 30 minutes by Sir George Everest. Are you familiar with this? No. Yes. no? I think. All right. I will. Uh, I'll put in the chat there. There is the PDF of his publication, and uh, it's a it's a thorough publication, thorough survey across uh, India, and that particular survey. Oh, just a second. That particular yeah. survey determined the radius of the Earth to be uh, 6,377 kilometers and 6,356 kilometers at the poles. The first one was at the uh, equator. So that was published in 1847, long before NASA or ISRO existed. You can find those um, those measurements in the book that I just gave you. I put into the live chat there. How they measure? Sorry? Like they was going from that place to see, like, do you know how long it is? How, how long the survey was? Yeah. Yeah, they went, uh, let's see, I can I can probably get some uh, of the triangle, uh, the, the networks up here. Yeah, no problem. Like, uh, I know that I, I told you before, like, people do every kind of thing to justify their job. So I can't my, understand. My, my job, my so job I, I, is, I given you, is blocking I given you blocking the spans. geometric method. Uh, if the Earth is mm -hmm. oval, like, uh, that time I didn't uh, write well. So if there is a plumb bob, then it is going, right? It is making a 90 degree angle. In the sea level so it's working but if it is there sea level is here and it will make a 90 degree angle with the sea level here so plumb bob will go directly towards the uh, here right so why sometimes the center of the gravity is here the center of the gravity is here but it is going there so only your hypothetical model of uh, globe earth only it could be a perfect sphere if there is a variation of even five kilometers then it will not work so even if you can say that it is because of centrifugal force or something else it will not work yeah it's in, in, inconsistent mass distribution and centrifugal force together uh a, along with quite a few other factors are are the um what has caused the earth to be the shape that it is so I'm looking, I don't know there if there's the any, only one shape. Uh, any, the perfect uh, sphere. No, uh, there's, there's no need for Are you for familiar it. with geometry? Do you know, do you know that there is a website called GeoGebra? So yes, yes. You can create a model there. And, yeah, you go, go ahead. Uh, show, me, can, show me you what you've done. <laughs> show, show it to me. Go ahead. I don't have anything, bro. I oh. can't even share you my stuff. Like how okay. I, well, uh, well then, then like, uh, again, I, if you don't have the data for your claim, don't make the claim. It doesn't help you. I think I will tell someone to make it. Uh, okay, so so I maybe uh, Jaren will maybe uh, maybe Jaren will make it because I also told Jaren that some sometime some days ago. So all right, well, so, like I I don't know if Jaren. Uh, he, he I don't know that, if yeah, Jaren's that good on Geo GeoGebra. Yeah. Um, yeah. Actually, I don't know. I think I'll, I'll tell it, him. It's rare to find a flat earther doing anything with with geometry. Huh? It's rare to find a flat earther doing anything with geometry. Uh, what? Yeah, flat earthers no, uh, generally don't do like, geometry. I, I I told you uh, argument with based on geometry and it is totally destroying your ability to it, and you are not even getting it. But but you, you didn't. Still but but you, all you did was made some baseless claims. Again, no, I, no, I know, nothing. The claim no. was the claim was that uh, there could be so many shapes, but I told you there could be only one shape that is a perfect sphere and nothing else. But but why 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 does centrifugal force not exist all of a sudden? How, how did how did you falsify the existence of centrifugal force? I told you that centrifugal force is nothing to do with the plumb bob and going towards why, the center. Why not? It's if, making if, it a shape, and if you're on if, uh, the earth is made a shape. Wait, right. uh, if the new if, moon, uh, new moon, listen, listen. If you're on, if you're on a merry-go-round, I, I don't know what you call them there. 
that you get on it goes in circles yeah, yeah, right that's on that's the playground if you're on there and you have a plumb bob and it's when it's not moving the plumb bob's gonna point to one spot and then and then you move the merry-go-round the plumb got bob's gonna move to the side correct right right centrifugal force will move the direction of that plumb bob so because centrifugal force will vary where the plumb bob is because of rotation then on a rotating globe then the plumb bob will also divert because of that is just changing changing the shape of the earth like it right and but you will your plumb bob will not work it if you are here then you will feel earth same as you are here. Just you have you you can say that your weight will be less here, but nothing else. Your, your uh, weight. The center of the gravity should be there, and plumb bob will go if, there. If you're on the it equator, yeah. If you're on the equator, the plumb bob direction will be modified only by re reduction in its total weight. But if you're anywhere off of the equator, it will add a slight. Mm -hmm. uh, variation in the vertical that, that's that's just physics and geometry I, I don't know why why you would disagree with that okay if you if you are talking about the physics so what is the physics uh between uh, behind uh, uh like like okay so what, what evidence do you have that uh, the earth is revolving around itself? Okay, well, I gave you, all right, well, I gave you one, the evidence of the Earth's uh, radius being a globe, the one by uh, Everest, or Everest. We usually say Everest in the United States. I don't know what you say there in... Um, in it's Indiana. called Everest, Everest. Okay. Uh, it's my understanding that his name is actually pronounced Everest, and so I, I thought maybe um, it might be pronounced differently there, but okay. Yeah, what, it might what is, be, you might be right, because, yeah. What is my evidence that the earth is uh is rotating well let me let me grab one here for you no not rotating revolving around this sun. oh revolving around the sun okay well that's that's yeah, yeah. different because we, we won't have centrifugal force from that okay got it all right that, that's yeah. uh are you familiar with the work of of uh uh romer from the 1600s uh, romer. yeah let's see i don't know if i have Romer, no, uh, no. what's what's okay. his full name? I, I won't go with Romer. I'll go with um, with the uh, the uh, James Bradley. So yeah, I know James Bradley. Uh, he was also from 1600s, and uh, yeah, I know. 17, uh, 1727 was when he published his his paper on aberration. Yeah. So there it is. Yeah, stellar okay. aberration, right? So, so there it is. There, there is. is there uh, on, yeah. yeah. So there, I, I put in. I put in the debate chat. <coughs> Sorry, the um, his his paper on um. Stellar aberration, and let me see if I can bring it up on my screen. There it is. Okay. So he measured. He measured stellar aberration. Stellar aberration is a a shift in the position of the stars that varies throughout the year and it also varies based on where the star is in the celestial sphere if the star is on the uh, celestial equator then the variation is yeah. simply a line a left or right line and if it's in the in the the uh, towards the celestial north or south pole it it's an ellipse that approaches a circle and it's about a 20 degree uh 20 sorry, 20 arc second shift so here's the paper uh i have it on the screen right now it's it's it there's not a lot of diagrams in it but there's some measurements here it has some measurements in it um of the uh the aberration that he was measuring so the aberration is due to earth's motion around the sun and mm -hmm. like if you have an umbrella and you're outside in the rain let's say there's no wind and the rain's coming straight down and you're not moving then the umbrella will block yeah, you just fine. Feet will get wet. And, yeah. And, yeah, and as you move forward, then your feet will get wet. If you move forward faster, then your knees will get wet. So you need to tip the umbrella forward. I'm, I'm explaining for the audience so that they understand. So yeah. just similar to that, as as uh, as the Earth moves 
around and it's moving at a significant rate it's an enough of a percentage of the speed of light to make a difference a 20 arc second difference and uh the it's measurable and it's uh something that uh in 1727 they were able to measure and publish and it's been repeated multiple times since then so oh yeah yeah it, yeah, it was in 18th century yeah i got it yeah, yeah. uh so there is a big problem first of all uh you know that that was in 17 uh whatever right and yeah. uh, you are believing heliocentric models since copernicus and the other problem with it is uh uh the reason why we see stellar aberration uh, the real reason behind it is the sidereal day like the sky is moving uh at uh Speed, the speed the sky is moving is just uh, uh, three minutes and uh, 56 se seconds uh, less than the uh, speed of the sun. So right? how, how sun... does how does that create a 20 arc second uh, ellipse yeah. in stars yeah. throughout the so course of a year, not not throughout the course the of a day. day? Yeah, it's not, it's yeah, not a daily yeah, thing, it's an, annual, it's an annual thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like uh, if if the difference between sidereal day and solar day, if we count, if we multiply the the difference of uh, the time, then it uh, with three sixty five, then it will be one one day, right? So the reason why you getting this stellar evolution is just because the moving of the sky and the sky is moving slowly compared to the uh, the other. We can say that sun and the the lower sky then the upper sky the, is the lower uh, sky and like the upper sky faster. yeah yeah that's why there isn't something what do you mean the difference. lower sky and, and the upper sky can, yeah I, I think i have looked into stellar aberration two years back and uh, i got to that conclusion maybe and that's why i, I don't remember but, but, uh, but what's, that was working I, I, yeah. i'm not understanding what's the lower sky and the upper sky like the lower sky where the sun and moon moon revolves okay yeah so it's 24 hours for sun and okay. the sidereal days of our sky uh, where the stars are and the constellations are. okay because the stars and the sun move yeah. separately from each other yeah yeah so okay. uh, I, I can't give you all the things because uh, like my notebook where i was written everything i lost it so uh, everything just try uh, you I lost remember. You, you this isn't this is nobel prize stuff here new moon Dude, you, <laughs> no, you, I lost, you lost that so go find stuff. that notebook publish it and get your nobel prize <laughs> yeah right i can i can regret it yeah. absolutely <laughs> yeah you you know that what okay so i will i will give you another thing okay so you're not providing me anything else then why okay so I, I mean, I why did. Copernicus I'll, thought that I'll the earth it. is uh, on, revolving on the sun like he was just worshiping the sun i'll post it again there it is a post again thank you siggy thank you very much for... right, i'll get to that in a minute why you're talking about the stellar aberration uh yeah. like i told you like don't you believe in copernicus like how he come to the conclusion that I, the earth is revolving around the sun i, I don't i don't, don't know it, it it doesn't it doesn't matter a ton to me that 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 any <laughs> one mean, particular person did something okay what matters to me Shanda is what's he correct some, he is with the compass what's you that? know that uh copernic uh La nicholas copernicus uh, is only having some two or three images on internet and everything having compass that three images in the two or three so you what? can send him down yeah, yeah. Two, two or three what uh, images he, he has some portraits images. two or three available on internet and okay. every portrait having a Freemason symbol there. Okay. Uh, that is the call compass. Maybe he was just so a fan of Ska. Him. He could have just been a fan of Ska. Okay. Look, it it, it, <laughs> it doesn't it like doesn't Galilee change the fan. shape of the earth that somebody was a, a member of some particular organization. If you think the earth is a particular about, shape, it's on you to provide measurements for it. What about Kepler and everyone Newton and Galileo, everyone is having that kind of symbol in their 
you know, just so they made, the, made that time. None of that is happening. evidence for anything. <laughs> you are not getting the points. Okay, so you don't have any evidence like how, like you don't believe that Copernicus on in Copernicus, right? Because you believe that Earth is your sun just because I, I, stellar I don't. Relation. I right. don't care. I, I I just want to be clear. I don't care. He gets credit for it. Super. Good for him. Whether or not he figured it out, somebody else would have figured it out. It, it doesn't really matter. Oh, really? It okay. doesn't matter so who figured it out other than to, to say, hey, cool. He figured it out. Let's give him credit. Right? What matters is what is the actual shape? Here's the measurements. Here's the evidence. So, do you have any evidence? I mean, I, no, I gave you. No I, gave, like you I, just, uh, I, I know you that know you have that no George measurements. Ellis, I'm only asking you, know you sarcastically. Said, you, you do George know. George said that we just, we just, we are just philosophers and we just uh, make our theories in philosophical realms. And for example, like someone in uh, 1653, I guess, uh, he come up with the size of the Venus and he told that the Venus is the size of the Earth. So how he got that size? I, I, I don't it's know. It's just a philosophy. It, yeah, it, it's it was a <laughs> it was a hypothesis, yeah. So yeah. So then what? When you do science, you, you form hypotheses. You hypothesize, hey, what if Venus is about the same size as the Earth? Let's go do some experiments on that. Right then, then what? Then you see what the results say. You compute the consequences of your hypothesis, and then you go and compare them to reality. So when when he when uh, they different people whatever whoever doesn't matter said, "Hey, I think Venus is about the same size as the Earth. Let's use that and the uh, it passing in front of the sun together." as a as a me way to measure the distance between the earth and the sun okay super if they are correct on on the hypothesis then all these other things put together have this implication is that right well turns out over time they it's been discovered that that was correct through other measurements other lines of evidence Oh, hold on, hold on. You, you. I think you muted yourself. No wonder you weren't interrupting. Yeah, me. I, yeah. I am. No, I was not interrupting them. Uh, I, there is no way. Like you're saying that uh, there are many ways to figure out the uh, size of the Venus. There is no. I think. Can you come with one way? There's no. What do you mean? There's no way. So what will you say? I will say parallax. Um, to the the size of Venus. Yeah. So the size of Venus, you can determine through a few things. You can bounce radar off of it, and you can measure its angular size because its angular size is is large enough that even a, a P one thousand camera can can uh, see it and get a a good enough view of it to determine its phase. And uh, Venus has phases, so. You can look at the angular size oh, of it, man. apply apply the angular size formula, and that and you and bouncing radar off of it also uh, gives us the distance. So there you go. There's a couple things, a couple different ways. You are saying with the angular size you can figure out the size of the Venus. So what if it is just 400 times farther and 400 times bigger? How will you a Venus? understand what size it is? Venus. Yeah. Look, that, yeah, that in part, reality, how will look, you, that part of your script is. How will you figure? Out? Look, New Moon, that part, I, I, I want to correct you on your script there. Your, your, your Papa Flurf's going to be upset. Um, that 400 times is about the moon and the sun, not about Venus. So you got to keep your no, script No, I'm just right. giving you an example. I know that it is a 400 times uh, yeah. Yeah, you're, you're, for moon and you're, sun. But you're mixing but your I'm script. I'm just giving you, you an example. You can't mix I'm, your okay, script. Okay, 500 times. Like you can, uh, you don't have any answer for that. That's why you're just bro, bro, I, I already gave it to you. I, 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 I can pull up. All right, I can pull it up. I have it on my website. I mean, you, you've watched my. Obviously, you've, you've watched my um, my stuff before, right? You're familiar. I, think I have watched you for 
uh, hundred hours maybe. A hundred. And hours. you are the yeah yeah, and you are the only. Uh, I have watched so many bloggers, and uh, most I watched you, followed by uh, Craig and Simon Man, and then other also. But you maybe I I watched you for a hundred hours because I like tweets, okay. and that's why. Well, and then, your okay. videos also in conspiracy things. I have watched some of them. All right, I have. Let's see, where is this here? Um, there it is. Radar surveys of the solar system. What so, frequency of radar are you talking? All right, hold on a second. I'll, I'll put it in the in the debate chat. There it is. There's the PDF of it. You can, I can't you can, see anything. Uh, it's it's in the debate Man, chat. Man, you there. you can tell me like what is the frequency of the radar you are talking about? What is the frequency of the radar? Yeah. Okay. That you sent yeah, well, to I, measure the distance. I, I, I don't I don't have that memorized offhand, but but uh I have I have the PDF up on the screen right now. Maybe we can find the, the frequency. Bro, that I, is a well, very, well, very, very dumb if you are talking about the radars to right. measure the distance. Why, like why does, you tell why that there is the frequency? a radiation and everything well, is on. coming from sky and I'm, there's I'm atmosphere curious. that is observing everything. You are shooting some radar and getting the signal back. <laughs> I'm curious. Can you do that by yourself? Why? Why the frequency? You think uh, does anything? Yeah. If you, are you? Are you like radar is made with the microwave and uh, not gamma rays, right? And not gamma. No, not gamma. Gamma is. It's uh, microwave, right? <laughs> gamma is like it doesn't exist really. Yeah. But if you get hit by gamma rays, you got to be careful. If you get hit by gamma rays, you might turn green and get really strong. <laughs> Right, those are uh, that'd, be, that'd be great. I would love to see New Moon get angry and then turn green and get super muscular. <laughs> can you? Can you hear? Hold on. Um, hold on. Can you say say this for me? Say you wouldn't like me when I'm mad. Come on, yeah, come, yeah. On. come on, come on, come on. Like I, I'm not okay, getting right. what you're saying. All right. Well, uh, it's a, it's a quote from David Banner. Uh, okay. Let's see. Okay. Um. I don't know it's illustrate i think they're just talking there i don't know if this is particularly about the uh so do you think that frequency. you only have radar to get the distance of some planet well, it, it's it's one it's one line of evidence what but is the second uh, no it, other... it's just a rejected piece i don't even consider it it's very critical it, it, so it, what's the second we're talking about this one right now we didn't even get can into this one yet radar? you're like show me the next one can you can you can you do can you do by yourself? Can you shoot a radar and get the signal back? There is it is like impossible. Like you can, spend your can, whole life. And can you, I like, do it? Like yeah, one day, one day, Mr. Uh, you will do the same thing. Like I don't. You have spent your ten years. Then you okay. will so uh, hold let's on. fake it. Let's hold fake on. it, and you will get Just the money, second. and you will get the oh. appreciation. Pump the brakes, there, buddy. It works like that. Pump the brakes. Could you please could you please cite to me which step of the scientific process says if you didn't do it yourself it doesn't count? Yeah, but I, I told you like. Uh, oh, hold on. I, I I just I, I would like I you, you I would like you to just cite for me the part of the scientific process yeah. that says if you didn't do it yourself I it doesn't it, count. Mitun, like you are a very elder guy, so you know how the world works. So I will give you one example. If there are fifty people. Who are shooting radar to know the distance of the Venus from last five years, right? No one got, no one got anything. But out of fifty, one person could be a liar, and then he will think like, "I have spent my five years, I have spent my money, I have spent my education." So let's fake it. Is the most logical thing I can tell you. And even if you don't understand, and you will not get my point. Okay. Okay. So, so what's that, your that, second? That, that what's doesn't. Second that doesn't. Hey, that, that's not a refutation. You, you, yeah, that, that's, that's just. Like, that's just you, denial. You told that you don't have that's, to do by that's yourself. That's just denial. So why you are believing the liars? Yeah. That, that's you cannot all, do all that it is. All you've done is deny actual science that people have done. That's it. That's all you've done. That's not actually evidence for the shape of the earth that's not actually evidence that the <laughs> that the experiment that was already done is wrong you need to show why it's wrong if it's wrong go right ahead i've i've given you and i know you won't have a chance right now to look at it but if it's wrong then you go right ahead and you find the specific error in their methodology 
and and you there's and no, you the the door is open to I you to, to publish and to show they did it wrong here and you can take them down that's that's the beauty they are of not science. doing it in front of me they are not lying in front of my face they they will just lie that i have done so and you've they'll said tell you can also do but with I, my ears any and evidence yeah <laughs> there's the evidence i have given you that they are lies and the world works like that well, I'll just say that you're a liar. Right? You're you're lying about that. What? That, no, that that's I, all you've done. As you said, the people I don't like are liars. That's all you've said. That's also not evidence for anything. Do you yeah. see the logical okay, breakdown so that second? you're having here, New Moon? The logical breakdown. You asked me for evidence. I gave you evidence, and you said I think they're lying about it without even looking at it. You said you 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 think they're lying about it. So an honest person, New Moon would say, hey, I don't have a chance to look at it. Thank you for providing that evidence. I will take my time, not right now, and go look at it and see if I can find any flaws in their methodology, find any uh, reproductions of the experiment, if I can find anything that's related to it, and then come to an actual conclusion on it. Do you know that there are people who are trying to bouncing radar from sun? Do you know that? Yes, not right now, to my knowledge, but they have in the past. Yeah, you you can Google it. Then you will find so many astronomers. Then what they are doing? Find they are what? trying to bounce the the radar from sun. So they are okay. trying it from last five years, maybe, right? Who? So one day they will find up. One day they will find up and be like, oh, I am successful, and they will get the money. Who is who is doing it? That they want. Wait, wait, who is doing it? Can you can you cite can you send the article or something somewhere talking about who is trying to do this? I'd love to know. Yeah, do uh, like I go to uh, Stack Exchange so uh, a lot, so there are many people who say that I'm doing it. I'm doing that. Who? I'm sorry, I didn't quite understand. Uh, you know, Stack Stack Exchange. Statex. Uh, like I don't know how to pronounce that website. Uh, the website name is Stack Exchange, S T A C K Exchange, where people are. Oh, Stack their... Exchange. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Stack Exchange, and then and then like Radar off the Moon, <clears throat> or the Sun. Yeah. <clears throat> sun. Okay. Yeah. There are many astronomers. You will find them. All right. They are doing from last five years, some two years, three. Years. Well, I mean. So, so you found references on Stack Exchange to people talking about it, or you actually found people that are doing it somehow links to it? Or... No, people who are uh, doing it and not getting the results. Uh, okay. They are talking about it. I'd I'd love to see it. I guess so. I'd, okay, I'd love I'll, to see that. I'll give you. I mean, I have I have a Stack Exchange up right now. Why? Why can we not measure the distance sun directly using radar? Which, of course, we can. It's been done. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, I mean, right, right here, here I have on screen right now a picture of the radar array that was used in the uh, in 1958 through 66 somewhere there to to bounce radar off the sun. I'll put that in the chat so you can have a look. There you go. At your leisure, of course. Like, can I see the chat? Like, I don't know. How, like, I'm not very familiar with Discord also. Oh, you can't like, see the chat? Uh, now, yeah, yeah. You have sent some image. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There it is. Yep. There, so what is that? that? That is that picture you're looking at is, is the actual uh, yeah. array, the radar array that was used to send um, radar to the sun to bounce it off the sun. Yeah, so do you think that uh, they got successful? Yes, I do. So what is the radiation coming from the sun? Amount of radiation. And how do they know that the uh, small light they are putting, they are getting it back? So say, say that again, I'm sorry. Don't you know the amount of uh, radiation sun is throwing at you? Okay, what about it? That is billion or trillion times more than your little radar. So how do yeah. you know that? What's oh, coming oh, to you is how do you know? Well, the way that you know 
is is that you can see it on page two. I don't have to get very far. Is is that they they uh, they have a a uh, band pass filter so that they're they're only looking at specific frequency ranges, and then they are looking at the pattern that comes back. So they sent a very specific pattern, and they're looking for that same pattern to come back. If that same pattern come back comes back repeatedly, then they know that it's not just a random. Uh, you know, a systematic or sorry, a, a Gaussian randomness that they're looking at, that it's actually the pattern that they sent. Can they do that in front of you? What's and that? I'll believe it. Can look, they look, do this in front I, I, of I you? Care, I repeat? care nothing for your incredulity. There is no part of science that says they have to do it in, in, in front of you. Science is not done that way. The scientific, uh, uh, the way that people do science is they do an experiment. And all of the people, oh, this is, all of the oh. people that that want to see it, don't get to be there to see it, because they're going to publish when they're done. So you do the experiment. When you're done, you publish, and then other people review the publication. If you, for example, if you, if somebody were to read the publication and say, "I don't think so," then oh. they are the door is open to them to find the problems in the methodology to find any errors that they've done in their analysis or to just say, you know, I think that you're completely full of crap. I'm going to go and re redo the experiment myself and I'm going to show that you're full of crap and then I'm going to publish and you're going to be embarrassed because I'm going to do it right. And that has happened in science. The door is open. Every time somebody does a publication, that's what's the invitation always so saying i don't think so isn't refutation saying did you do it in front of me isn't a refutation <clears throat> that's Why not how science is done okay okay so you can believe that i i, I can't like it's <laughs> like i cannot even believe that when i was a child so i i believe now like you like, know like, by when i was a child like i was believing everything they told me about space now I know. Uh, so, do you also believe that the parallax would give you the size, the distance of planets? Like parallax. Jupiter? Parallax right? give to give you distance to the to the planets. Um, yeah, I'm not. Do I'm not. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Do you believe that? Sure. <laughs> so, can you please? Okay, you can't. But still, can you give me a chart of parallax diagram of parallax you where like computer generated diagram where how parallax is measured to get the size a distance of jupiter they have you want me to generate that right diagram. now you want me to generate that right no, now it, no you can ask you can go to google and if you can find one okay only, I, well, but I, real diagram with right coordinates and with but, right angles, but but we've already with, the shape, no. with right globe We've already determined yeah. that you don't care if I present you any evidence. You will just say nah. -uh. No, no, no. I, I will I will acknowledge it if you give no, me no, you a won't. correct diagram. No, you won't. You've lied about that before. <laughs> you no, know, I have never lied. Um, I will you, never oh, you certainly I, do. I, I know that you are getting scared because you also don't believe in parallax. That there's no way to get the size or uh, distance of planets in parallax. Why not? Show me one diagram only with the right angles and with the earth. Certainly, and I, I'll, earth be hair and earth I'll be glad. I, I don't have them. After that. Yeah, I don't have I don't have anything at my fingertips right now. But I'll be glad to, uh, not in real time. I'll be glad to to grab that for you. All right, I'll send it to you. Okay, in the next so couple I, of days. okay, I, I, I'll, I'll make it right. I'll making a sun, right? There is the earth. There is an uh, earth six months back, right? If there is a Jupiter, where I should make? Can I make it here? Uh, farther. Can I make it here? Farther. Okay, just imagine. No, okay, far imagine farther. Oh, no, you gotta go farther. Hold on, you gotta go farther. Okay, here. No, here, no here. you gotta go farther. Go farther, farther. Keep going. <laughs> Keep going. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Wait. I, I'm making it here. Why you? Want... No, that's not the yeah, scale. Okay. That's not the scale. I, I know. No. It uh, doesn't count. I think Jupiter is one billion, one billion kilometer away it from Earth. It right? doesn't count. So. <laughs> wait. You have to uh, do it to scale. Uh, so, get out your ruler. Wait, wait. 
Get, yeah, get out your ruler. Yeah, yeah. Make it, make it, make it to scale. <laughs> I will scale here. You have to make the diagram to okay. scale. Come on. Okay. Okay. So just, just okay. Okay. So okay, I'm, I, I'm making the diagram. You can imagine. So this is the sun. You saw Jupiter at night time. So this is the daytime. You are here night time, right? So from night time you are here, and another night time is here, right? Okay. So how can you? How can if the Jupiter is there, right? So how can you see to the daytime at the like if it is night, then you have to see here. You cannot see there. You cannot see there. Where's the there Where's there. the sun? Where's the sun in your diagram? Sun is there, middle. Oh, okay. This is Earth and this is Earth. Okay, we both yeah. are Earth. Sure. Okay. Yeah. And then what? But what's what's wrong with that? <laughs> Man, you don't understand anything. Okay, I'll give you one. This is the sun. Uh huh. Right. Yeah. This is the earth. Fill it in. This fill fill it in so we know. It's a little hard to see. Okay, this yeah, like is the take, earth. Take your, and, um, take your pen. Day and take time. your pen and fill in where the sun is so we can. And I don't know why my pants are not working after talking to you. Why your pants aren't working? Yeah. My pants are not working today. I don't know why. I, like, I don't I know why. Pants, but they're I not don't working. know why your pants are not working either. You have some kind of power, like Dave's dad, like when you shake his hand. <laughs> oh my gosh! I why? I <laughs> like I don't know I why you're, there and... dude. You 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 gotta upgrade your pants so they work better. I'm glad. My I'm glad we're do not do not correctly. Every do not day. tip your camera down. We do Cold not want to see are... your non-functioning pants. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I don't know what kind of power you have. David Wise is right. So this is the right. Earth. I have separated it day and night. Okay, okay, good. Day and night. Okay. Right? Yes. So you are getting it. Like you have to be in night time. Yes, yes. So you are here, yeah. night time. Yes, night time. Right? And again, you are here at the night time. Uh huh. So Got how it. can you say to the daytime? Towards the daytime to get the Jupiter position. Oh, it's because it's far. Like I said, remember at the, remember when you started drawing that? I'm like, you need to draw it farther away to be at the scale. That's what you missed. You missed that it's not far enough away. Do you know parallax? How parallax works? I do. Okay, so you see the stars, and you guys make your assumption that we are parallaxing the star. Uh huh. So the stars are. If you are at the night time, then you will see stars at uh, here, here, here. Uh -huh. Once you will see stars here, here, here. You will not see star at the horizon. Of never, course you do. You, you see the stars. stars you here. see, yeah, you see the stars right above the horizon. No one do parallax with the stars. No, you you can see. And even if the, you are seeing it uh, at the time of horizon, you are at the night time uh, where you are like it's like one a.m. or two a.m. Right. or right. twelve. You're, you're making just, me uh, look my my yeah, pants so, my pants are working so i'm i'm going to use my pants yeah, my working pants and i'm going to use my working pants diagram. to draw a diagram yep all right i'm i'm more i'm i'll i got the diagram for you all okay right. make it all right here we there's go. no way man there's no way all right now the problem is of course you can't you can't make it to scale uh, very well because uh, 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 there we go. Let's go this way here. You cannot see to the daytime to get the parallax of a star. That's period. It's over. No parallax to work. All right, all right. So here is now. I know you're you, you're not watching. You said you're not watching the uh, the live stream, right? So you're not gonna be, you're not gonna be able to see it well. But all right. Well, I mean, here it is for the the audience at home. We've got the sun in the middle. We've got the Earth on either side there. And then, and then Jupiter is is off the off the paper, off this way somewhere. Okay. So I don't know. Maybe maybe you'll have to watch it some some time later. Um, but it's it's very far, very far off the paper. 
and uh, there it is. So there's the lines to it, okay? And uh, and I'm making this this the earth not to scale um, because if the sun's that large, then the earth is significantly smaller. But uh, we have to make it just for the purposes of the diagram. We have to zoom in a little bit. There it is. Okay. So at uh, uh, nighttime is when you see the stars and the planets in the sky. You don't see them in the daytime because the sun is too bright. So when it's at nighttime, you have many opportunities to look uh, to, towards Jupiter because of geometry. So this is this is not complicated geometry. Oh, I, 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 I'll do I'll do a larger one here. There it is. It's not complicated geometry. Um, at nighttime, you can see it uh, on the horizon. You can see it middle of the night because it's not only uh, Venus, Venus and Mercury. You can only see uh, near dusk or dawn, but uh, the other planets you can see uh, later in the in the evening as well. So, all right. I don't know. You'll have to you'll have to look later uh, on your own time. And you've I think you've muted yourself again. There yeah, you go. I I look it for later. And so. Like right. parallax does not work. You can debate me anytime, right? Well, well uh, hey, on your hey, Discord, you, you, go, you go right ahead. You show me the the actual application of geometry, real, real numbers, real numbers. Do the real <laughs> numbers, okay? You take you take any any of the solar system ephemerides. Take VSOP eighty seven, for example. Take that. Get the position of of uh, um, Jupiter and the Earth and the Sun six months apart. And and show where where it's not possible when people have claimed that they've measured it. You go ahead. All right. I I told you to send me a diagram, but you didn't. It means you are saying well, that no one. I mean, I have it. I have it right here. On all of the internet. I, I, I made the diagram for you. I made it. I made it for you. I don't. And I I've had trouble with my camera on why Discord making, before. Yeah, I have it right here. Why don't any? Why you're making, giving me diagram of someone else like uh some nasa and ESA. oh you want somebody else's diagram yeah why, why okay yes. like i said there i might, don't there i, might I, I be can't many, just i can't are, just invent doing, somebody else's what? diagram on the fly i'd have to go find it you know that's how it works so all right so but but i did give you my diagram right there i did my own diagram so i um uh, when when we meet in person i will give you that that uh, diagram that I've just uh, made, just for you. All right. I don't know where. Okay, no problem. I I, I don't. Wait, when are me. when are you coming to Minnesota? <laughs> I don't have passports. Oh, get a passport. Then you they come here. <laughs> they will I'm, not give I, me visa. They will not give me visa even after I get the passport. Wh why not? Why will they give a visa? Like uh, a you, European country, like Minnesota is in Europe or just what, where it is? Uh, Minnesota's not in Europe anymore. No. Where it is? Like which country? Uh, Minnesota is in the United States. Oh, okay. So it's a state in United States. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. I, uh, yeah. I, I like uh, they don't give visa very easily to Indian people if they are having a lot of money and if they are going for traveling purpose or study purpose then they won't give uh, otherwise they won't give uh well you could come here to study i uh, i i I, study I, I highly recommend you attending more school classes that might be a good thing for you new moon no i don't like i think i, I, think I it like would be i study very helpful most, for you most of the time i study uh history like my favorite subject is what history and uh, philosophy and i have read so many philosophies and that's why and science is also I like when that. when but you I study do, philosophy maybe you want to study uh you know logical fallacies and how to how to do debates there's a there's a topic you might want to study within philosophy just a little, a little I, I know logical fallacies also but i i'm not trying to bring bring everything like <laughs> all right well, well add home is from and yeah. What what what's your what's your favorite in Indian food? <laughs> like in India, there are so many. Like 
the foods are very spicy so you might not like like oh i, some I like spicy food. Bhaji, but really oh yeah like yeah some people like it but some people don't like uh spices are mainly uh came from india maybe right in usa yeah i mean the the best food is from india yeah yeah some right. people say that uh from you do, do you uh, know do you like know the national the national dish of of england do you know what that is what it is the national dish of england to my knowledge is chicken tikka masala it's an indian name it is yeah i do i like chicken tikka masala but i definitely prefer uh um oh my goodness i like i like paneer pakora but um i like butter chicken yeah, uh, yeah. chicken uh chicken makhni right yeah yeah you call These it all yes yeah my neighbor I my neighbors is to... uh my neighbor's from the punjab and uh they he, uh, he has oh. he has owned some restaurants and uh, i've gone i've gone there and he won't he won't even let me pay nice guy he doesn't own any anymore right now but mm -hmm. yeah yeah, Indian food is very good. Like there are sweets, if you know about that, uh, there's a variety of sweets in India and you can eat that. Like sweets are made with some kind of, like I don't know how to say those words in English, uh, but there are sweets, different kind of. Sweets. So, yeah. I'm, I'm and, not a fan. I, I do like I do. the, um, uh, what's, Sugary the things, right? what's the cheese, the cheese based dessert called? I forget. Um, uh, India, Indian people don't use cheese very much. They use uh, butter and uh, ghee. That is a kind of yeah. Ghee you know ghee. What is ghee? Yeah, clarified butter. Yeah, ghee is like yeah. Yeah, yeah you can make it with uh, in your home also with yeah. yeah. Yeah, they use that. They don't use cheese very much. I don't know what you're. Doing, what oh yeah, we, we, all the Indian restaurants around here they have a lot of paneer. Paneer, yeah, yeah, paneer. Paneer yeah. is not cheese; it's some other thing. I don't know how we say it in English. Paneer is, yeah, it's it's yeah. Ca cashew paneer protein. Is what cheese? Is it? Yeah, it's just cheese. Yeah, when yeah yeah, like when we uh, when we put uh, vinegar in uh, milk, then yeah. it, it separates into whey protein and casein protein. Yeah. So the casein protein is the paneer guys. Right? Yeah. There it is. All right, David Brock got it. Galub jal, uh, Jamun. Gulab, oh. Gulab Jamun. I don't know how to say that. Yeah, right. Gulab Jamun. There you go. It's right from Gulab Jamun. Yeah. There it is. That that I like that. That's a good dessert. Really, you eat that? Yeah. Yeah, it's a sugary thing. Yeah, it's yeah. a sugar made up. Yeah, yeah it's, I, I, I won't eat. I don't eat too many because it's it, it's a lot of sugar in there. Yeah. Like Indian people eat a lot of sugar, and that's why I think India is number one in diabetes. Oh yeah, is it? I yeah, didn't know that. so All many right. people are having diabetes, yeah. and um, because they eat wheat a lot, I think wheat is also causing diabetes. Yeah. What is wheat? Wheat. 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 Uh, like yeah, wheat. You don't eat wheat meat more uh, in the USA. V e e t. W h e a t. W X E A T O W H wheat wheat yeah yeah not wheat yeah yeah wheat, wheat. okay yeah yeah <laughs> the the W and the V gets uh uh sw switched okay uh, I've got some some questions yeah. maybe from the audience would you um would you uh take yeah, some yeah. questions yeah yeah I'll take it all right all right it, it's uh it's been it's been it's been a great conversation so far. Uh, Lord Illuminus Pooh says, as leader of the Illuminati, brother to a Mason, grandson of the Knight Templar, there's no conspiracy. The earth is round. And you're just not right. He's, he's, I don't think he actually is. Uh, he might be making that up. Mr. Lonely says, look up birds aren't real TED Talk for fun. <laughs> are you aware that birds are not real? Who said that? Oh, there's a TED Talk on it, I guess. I mean, you can't argue with that. Pat in the chat hey. says a flurf rewrites the mighty mighty boss tones. Never had to read an actual book, and I'm glad I haven't yet because I'm as dumb as I can get. Are you a fan of the mighty mighty boss tones? 
I don't know many people of USA. Very less. Only yeah. through oh. flat Earth, I know some some people. Yeah, only two flat Earthers. Are you? Are <laughs> you? Uh, flat Earthers, I know. I know a lot. Are oh. there other flat Earthers in India that you know? Like in India, no one cares about the shape of the Earth. There is no flat Earthers in India. You will not find anyone. There yeah. are some, but they don't. They are not even like talking about them. So I I have a, a couple times talked with um, Santosh Christodos, who's in Canada, but he's he's from India. Yeah, Santos Benacci. No, no, yeah, no, no, I know, not, I think, no, 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 yeah. not Santos Benacci, not that turd. Santosh with an S H on the end, and his last name is Christodos, and he's in Canada. He's he's Indian. Like Christodos is not a Indian surname, but you are saying Santosh. It's, it's right pronunciation is Santosh, right pronunciation. Santosh, and I don't yeah. know about him. I know I uh, Santosh, yeah. And I know Santos Binacci, and I, I I thought that he he is also from India. But if you are no, not saying he, that, he's from Australia, and uh, yeah, he he wears some kind of uh, garland there in 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 his neck. On his neck, right? Yeah, I don't and know. And that he, garland he, is he, made made with the uh, uh, kind of uh, <coughs> seed that is of a plant, a plant seed, and that is very famous in India because it's like a re religious, it's a religious garland, and a specific kind of religious people in India wear that. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Sa Sa yeah, thought... Santos Benacci is is a turd amongst turds. He is he is a okay. he is a yep. He's what you get if you're never if you've never eaten Indian food and you go to India and eat street food. What comes out of you is Santosh Benazi. Um, okay, yeah, I I, I don't watch his videos uh, very much, but uh, yeah, nobody I, I, nobody should. Nobody I got should. a news that his his YouTube channel got deleted. Right? I was so <laughs> sad. I was heartbroken. Yeah. I was oh I cried so many tears when his that happened all right uh tim tully says full moon causes madness does new moon cause sanity to you new moon what insanity San insanity not insanity sanity i don't know what does it mean my english is not that good your english is your your english is just fine um, yeah i think i can surprise i can surpass 95 percent of people in in India, in terms of English speaking, like, uh, but I, like I also don't speak in English. So, uh, what 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 I language is your uh, your primary language? It's uh, called Hindi. Uh, Hindi. Like in India, everyone knows at least two languages, and uh, some people, if they are learning English, then it gets uh, their third language. Yeah. Yeah. Like everyone knows Hindi. Hindi is like a uh like main language in india yeah and everyone knows a second uh, primary language that is their regional language yeah so there is a regional language then the main language hindi and they may learn english if they are going to school but even people who in india if you come there 90 90 percent of people cannot do a conversation in english in full english yeah i i also can't do uh, well, in a fluent way you, you've uh you've you've done fine um i have a, a friend a close friend who's from goa and mm -hmm. uh and uh, man sometimes sorry <laughs> when he calls me he likes to call me on whatsapp i'm like no call me on the phone the the, the connection is better i can understand you better <clears throat> so what what language yeah. do they speak in goa like goa goa yeah. is like this small uh, small state and i don't live in goa i live in somewhere else but but what language do they speak in goa i'm asking for the the live chat too to see if the live chat can, can come up with it uh everyone speak their uh, uh maybe uh, hindi everyone knows hindi and they will speak in hindi but uh, goa is in uh, yeah there 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 is no regional language They're, they also talk in hindi and, there is yeah, a regional goa language is, uh, Oh, Murph is close. Yeah, he here. says he says Portuguese. It's not Portuguese. It's a variant of Portuguese with a very specific name. Charlie Welch got it. It's Konkani. 
कोकणी 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 या कोकणी and have you have you yeah, listened yeah, uh, to goan music it's totally mexican i love it he sent me he's he's like hey what here's here's a song and i and i play it and i'm like oh that's pretty cool but i don't understand spanish he goes no it's kokani <laughs> like if you if you watch bollywood songs and bollywood movies yeah. oh like, yeah like uh, like Holly, like you know that hollywood uh, captured all the world right the like they get overpowered in all in all world in every country they hollywood is on top right in terms of collection but in india they cannot even come closer to indian like local movies like if our collection is this then hollywood is just this yeah. like less than 5% every time i so, i i like so, indian movies if but i don't like it if they're <laughs> overdubbed i prefer if they're not overdubbed you know yeah yeah Yeah, Indian. I can say that Indian movies are really better acting. So, like, I, I can. I am not saying that everything is in, in India is. I, I hate a lot of things in India, and uh, I think a lot of things are better in USA and everywhere. But uh, in terms of movies, I think and music, I think Indian is better than uh, USA. I can say that. Okay. Um. Yanish Takas says don't let the bastards grind you down. I believe that's a ska reference. Uh Caucasian sensation says Freemasons are just a bunch of old guys who get together, play dress up, become better men in faith, relationships and finances. Nothing crazy ever. I I think for the most part, but they they do have some ceremonies that do seem a little a little out there. Um MK Ultra says Hungarian food is the best in Fidel. Oh, Hungarian food? What? I've never heard any dish from Hungarian. Well, like I, I, Italian food is very famous all over the world. And yeah. Mexican, Italian, Chinese, these food are very famous all over. The world. In uh, Italy in the United States. Uh the Chinese buffet is the melting pot. Everybody goes yeah. to the Chinese buffet. Everybody. Last time I was there yeah. at the end of the at uh, not far from us was was a bunch of um Chinese monks wearing wearing their um orange. I'm colorblind so I don't remember color very well. I think orange they're wearing their orange. Yeah, it's, it's kind of orange, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of maroon orange. Yeah. yeah. Um and then and I mean everybody's there. everybody it's awesome so, all right uh yeah. let's I, see i think i think burger and hot dog burger and hot dog is from us right and it it is famous all over the world right yes yep. yeah 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 right yeah apologies mm-hmm. apologies for the mcdonald's that's down the street from you i yeah. i go there a lot all right mr oh let me tell you this <laughs> i was working with the guy from india he hated he was a contractor he hated flying so much that when he came to united to united states he actually took a boat he did not take the plane um and he but he got hired by a company in boston and so he's working from this company in boston and as a contractor and so what do they do they're like well you're going to go on site to minnesota so he flew to minnesota he hates flying well so he had to fly it was his job so he's he's staying here in Minnesota he's at a hotel and coming to and from work and he he couldn't drive and so we're like we were helping him get around and my my wife brought him one or two times and and she's like well what do you eat at the hotel he's like oh i i like i like you know i'll go here i'll go here i like to go to mcdonald's and she's like what do you eat at mcdonald's oh well i like i like the uh the hamburger and and he was a uh, he was he was seriously he's right literally right off the boat and he's a hindu and uh he gets <laughs> and and she's telling me this then later i'm like that's beef he doesn't eat beef so at, at work the next day i'm like hey um his name is Sanj- sanjeev Sa- sanjeev it's not sanjeev um, sanjeev 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 yeah So Sanjeev yeah. I ask him so I ask him the same questions he says hamburger I go oh do you know that's that's beef he goes 
No, no, it's it's ham burger, not beef burger. I don't know. It's it wouldn't help because ham is pork. <laughs> but um, yeah, yeah, I'm like that's beef. He goes, oh no, oh no. And then late, like <laughs> two hours later, he's like, hey, do you think I should tell my mom? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, like no. Beef is, you don't beef need is to tell your mom. You just yeah. it was an accident. <laughs> it was so nice. Yeah. Uh, you will not found find beef in India anywhere. <laughs> I think you will uh, find in Goa, maybe. Maybe in Goa. Yeah, yeah. Or because or Goa in any in like any Indian kind of... restaurant in America you'll find it. They'll cook beef because that's oh. what the that's what the people want here. <laughs> Yeah, do you know that India is the number one beef exporter in the world? Like I most of the beef know that. goes goes from India export. They export because they, there are so many uh, cattle in India and they don't cut it, so they export. Ah, uh, okay. That's right. All right. Yeah. Uh, Mister Zero says that's it. Checkerboards mean fake. So much for chess and checkers or finish lines. Damn Freemasons ruining everything. Guess Earth is flat after all. Because of the checkerboards. Three News One says it's hard to get Indian food on the res. <laughs> oh my gosh. N Naughty Three News One. <laughs> I didn't even. <laughs> I don't know if you're going to get that one. I won't explain it. Um, William Foley. No, I'm sorry. Citizen Nine says, does the flurf have any evidence for non yeah. Do you get that? So, so, oh, you, you muted yourself again. You didn't get it. Okay. You Nar get it. Narnia, N-A-R-N-I-A, -A, is a book series from C.S. Lewis. In, in this fantasy book series, the earth actually is flat. Um, but he spelled it N A A N dash I A, like non e non. You know the the popular bread from yeah, India. Yeah. In yes. India, there it is. Yeah. It's a play on words. There, <laughs> uh, William Foley says, "I see a bright future for this guy at a call center." Also brave, invoking PhD Tony for his evidence. Uh, <laughs> do, do you do you mind saying what you do? Uh, no, because I have not heard, like, I have not looked into his, so, like, I, I was just telling you, there is no curvature, like, engineers, when they do their, they don't, uh, they don't go for the curvature, uh, no, but... if someone is flying the plane, they think that the earth is stationary and flat, so it works fine for flat earth. No, that wasn't my question, though. My question was, do you mind telling us what you do, what you do for a job? What I do for my job. Yeah. Yeah, my job is like uh, based on hospitals. Uh, like you, it's it's based on hospitals and uh, like selling the things uh, used in hospitals. Yeah, it's like that. Okay. You work in hospitals. Okay. Janish <laughs> says Hungarian food is good but overpriced because of <laughs> tourists. It's cheaper to eat a burger, kebab, pizza, or sushi around my place. <clears throat> there it is. And then Siggy Sigwald gifted 300 me uh, memberships. Wow, Siggy, thank you very, very much. Oh, man, that, that's record breaking. 300 that is, that's huge, yeah. Um, hey. And I had I had just reviewed, and I didn't update the outro yet, but I just was looking at it, and a whole bunch of them had expired. So uh, thank you very much, Siggy. Um, doubtful form says Everest. Damn, you walked into that one. Your your finger, you fool, Terry Pratchett. If don't recognize this reference, I pity you. You wasted your life, and I don't get it. Your finger, you fool. I do not. I uh, I ha I can say that I've not read Pratchett. Um, Sorry. Uh, Siggy says for 666 ARSs, haha, ha, MC Tune Live is not getting the point. That was uh, earlier when you kept saying I wasn't getting the point. PHE Tony is yeah, here. Yeah. I don't think that he likes that you invoked him. Um, 
he might get a little testy here. He said, are you trying to suggest flurfs should do computations? Have you met them? I have met them. And, and uh, there, I, I, very few can do, uh, can do any, any, uh, even. Did you met, did you yeah, met Bob algebra. ever? Did I what? Bob, Bob, no doubt. Did you met him ever? I never met him, no. But he could not do geometry oh. or algebra. And he sucked at, at electrical engineering. He's not an electrical engineer. He never was an electrical engineer. He was an electronics guy. He wasn't an engineer. People that study study uh, fields next to engineering sometimes mistake themselves for engineers. Not, not understanding that if you claim to be an electrical engineer or a mechanical engineer, that there's very specific understandings of what you've studied and what kind of degree you have. They don't know that. So that's how they, that's how they, they think that they are, but it's easy to suss them out. You just ask, ask them a couple shakedown questions and they never get them. So, um, Baux one says, ask new moon if he knows what a new moon is. All right. What's a new moon? I think uh, I would new moon uh, because uh, I count that uh, at, at the new month is a new moon and when the after when the moon is got uh, when the new month is starting then it is new moon according to me okay but all right, right, right. Uh, are you are talking about the phases okay okay go on, go on it's okay it's okay uh Cretan Bull says this might be a new low in flurf history uh, then Siggy Sigwald for 3000 ARSs. Says, wow. Thank you very much. Siggy says, Christian Huygens measured the distance to the sun by looking at the phase of Venus and tracing a triangle between us, Venus and the sun back in the 1600s. Meanwhile, in 2023, people look at out of focus stars through a Nikon P1000 and they're like, we're being lied to. Hail Sagan, so Christian hail Huygens. Christian Huygens, then uh, that in 1653, and uh, he just uh, said that Venus is, is just so absurd. Venus is what? What what did he say about Venus? Like we talked we talked about it before, right? He just assumed that the Venus is the same size of him. Yeah, yeah. It turns out he was is a great assumption. Is very close. That's so silly. The, it is silly to reject it. All right. MK Ultra says, I claim New Moon is lying and I have evidence. MC Toon said so. That's all you need, apparently. Uh, Lord Illuminous Poo says, Disney owns Fox. Oh, it jumped. Hold on a second. Disney owns Fox. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? There it is. A fox owns aliens. Xenomorphs are born from a queen. Ipso facto Disney princesses. <laughs> um, there may be a couple non sequiturs in there. MK Ultra says, are new moons plant pants flat or do they have a curve slash bulge? <laughs> you, you've muted yourself. Yeah, it's a uh, curve, maybe. Okay. Not a good tail. <laughs> I was just, we're just worried about your pants that weren't working. Um, Viganuk says, as a master scuba diver, my rescue training kicks in, is kicking in with every word he says. I've truly never seen someone so out of their depth. You get that? I don't know. Maybe not. Yeah, I think he, he's saying that he's never seen someone, a person like me, who is like really believing and not thinking about the other space uh, side of the coin. All right. right? Well, good. Good. You got it. All right. Uh, yeah. Lord Illuminous Poo says, no, sir, all of these statements are true. Paw Paw was a Templar and my bro is a Mason. 100%. All right. I, I mean, I don't know. I have no way of confirming that, but uh, Lord Illuminous Pooh does claim to, that, to have some Ma Templars and Mason in, in his heritage, in his family. Um, Steve6464 says, why is German sausage so unpopular? Uh, 
I don't know. Because it's the worst. Like in India, people don't eat food from outside. Maybe like most of the food we create. Uh, so I don't know about like many foods of other countries. Okay. Like uh, like bro, in India, in India, like it's it's a very good thing. Like the atmosphere is good and the temperature is very good. Like it's very cold right now, but it's still uh, like people who come from USA, they go in shorts in that kind of cold, and <laughs> because they think that it's very hot, uh, like, it's a normal temperature for them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, to it's um in uh, in freedom units, it uh, it's in the twenties uh, at nighttime here. That's going to yeah, be below zero Celsius. It's about 10 degrees Celsius right now. It's very cold. Right oh, that's not very cold. That's that's toasty. That's t-shirt and shorts yeah. weather. It's very cold for me. Like yeah. I got cold yesterday. All right, like Lord. I'm drinking tea, that's right. Like drinking tea. Right. Okay. Is it is it chai tea? Yeah, it's called chai. Um, <laughs> you know a lot, man. It, it, <laughs> Everybody calls it chai tea, but but Indians here like chai just means tea. You're just saying tea tea. Yeah 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 chai. Like I have put it uh, like my mom put ginger and cinnamon powder in it and tea and milk and sugar and that's it. It's good. Y your mom made that tea for you? Yeah yeah she made it right now. Okay. All right. When I come to India, I'm coming to your house. Can your mom make me tea? Yeah, she will, she will give like she will make every kind of dish and new new dish for you. All right, uh, that would be that would be a pleasure. All right, uh, PhD Tony says you you mentioned him earlier. He says please assure your guest that if he thinks my PhD work in any way substantiates the claim of a flat Earth, he has completely misunderstood everything I said. Uh, yeah, maybe because I, I I I will look into his YouTube channel more, and then I should get it more. Like I was just giving the example that was not my talking point. <laughs> yeah, yeah see, I, I think I, PhD I, Tony is an intelligent guy. I, I can, yeah, I can. You, can you got to understand like, if you if you suggest that somebody's work is something that it is not, it's quite an insult, mm -hmm. right? Um, yeah, okay. no, no. I I I told you that people think that they are doing this but they are doing something else they don't get it like uh, it's just the idea and yeah maybe our idea let, and our, let, our let me just and let me just just throw models. this one out there let me just throw, maybe it's you that don't get it and the people that are actually doing the work do get it but let me let's let's go with that until you've substantiated your your claims there um lord illuminous poo says they say spicy food can damage your taste and it's true after eating indian food for a week i started listening to michael bolton <laughs> oh speak yeah who is michael bolton he's a singer he's uh, that's a generous generous way of putting it My, michael bolton uh, is is yeah have you seen office space uh like singers from united states i know only one that is no that was michael jackson and he's, he's very famous and I, he's dead right and uh, the other one is uh, the, the, there is, is there is a guy? rumor going is around that, that he's dead bald guy. <laughs> who is it there's a rapper who is a bard uh, a rapper that's there a what? guy yeah he's a bard his rapper means he's tackle he don't have hair he's a rapper it does, a rapper that doesn't yeah. have hair oh bald yeah, bald. yeah, bald, bald. Yeah, I he came to India and I saw him. That's why I know. But like he, in India, like music bald is rapper. not very popular. Like uh, music from other countries is not very popular in India because most of the people speak in their language like Hindi, so they don't listen English songs very much. Uh, all right, I'm looking for the. Uh... The Michael, Bol I, I can't, I can't, uh, I can't do it off, off the top of my head from Office Space. The Michael Bolton reference. Okay. Um. Anyway, yeah, Michael Bolton sucks. Sucks. Icy spins is sorry I'm late. What evidence did I miss? None. And then Icy spins is tonight is a new moon. So what a great night for you to be on here, new moon. When it's a new moon. Uh, yeah. 
Dave Kircher says, thank Titty Kaka, it's Tunes Day. And thanks to Super Tune for keeping us attached to the spinning globe. Um, Super Tune, hey, I know you can't see me, but who am I now? I, I will watch the Holy Spirit. I'm, I'm still, I mean, I, I may look like a mild-mannered software engineer, but when I put these on, yeah. I'm a flurf crusher. Plus, the the kryptonite uh keeps keeps gravity down makes gravity happen andy tiger sci-fi review says in civil engineering and surveying we always reference the geoid that elevations are based on so you know that uh they're, yeah yeah if they're if they're you going know, to do yeah they might say yeah here's here's wgs 84 or something something is, uh, is what our elevation is based on yeah Do you know the difference between uh, the? Hmm, it's oh. how much? How much the difference? Well, uh, if you PhD Tony gave it to me. Yeah. PhD Tony gave me the Michael Bolton reference. Change my name? Why not get that talentless ass clown to change his name? No talent, ass clown. That's the one. Um. Uh. <laughs> I don't know. Like I, I put my name as you moon because my my name is in Hindi, so you might not pronounce it. So I just put it. <laughs> I, I, it's a good chance that I'll mispronounce it. It's a safe bet. But yeah. I can tell you that my friend uh, Sanjeev has the same last name yeah. as you. You don't don't say it, but I, I, he has the same last name as you, same surname. Yeah. Okay. You know that you know my name, yeah. Yeah, because we yeah we exchanged emails. So uh, yeah, yeah. anyway, yeah, yeah. Uh, I believe I believe you have I believe you have my stapler. That's that's my stapler. All right. Well, um, it's been two hours. You said we should be able to. We, we should only have to go an hour. Um. Okay. Okay. I'll I'll close with some more points, right? Oh, okay. All right. Let's go. So you can look into it. First, I, I told you that in email that I will ask you for showing the repeated uh, um, observations of what Arthur did in 1990. Because uh, I have seen when I saw the total uh, lunar uh, solar eclipse, then I know that no stars are visible. You can only see the planets, but there is no way that someone can see a star at the daytime when sun is there. And in solar eclipse, sun is there in the sky. So it's a rule that when the sun is there in the sky, you will not see any stars. So I also can see that that Arthur and Newton was uh, not good because uh, I have seen a lot of um, talk with people who observed the total uh, solar eclipse and they didn't see any stars. I have seen the images, videos, there are no stars. And uh, so, and uh, many things like, uh, okay, so did you prepare for it? I did. I think you did it. Yeah. So I, and I did prepare for it. Really? Yeah. You have that. Yeah. There's no experiment that is done. Yeah. It's on screen right now. Yeah. Um, so this is this is the uh, I'll put it I'll put it in the chat so you can have a look at it. There is the uh, this is a copy okay. of, this is a copy of Eddington's plate. And you can see they've circled the different stars. Uh, they're faint, but they're visible. Uh, so there it is. I, I, I sent it to you in the, um, the I don't know yeah, if you see I, the I chat there. Um, here I is, saw in general chat, yeah. yeah. Here is a, uh, a GoPro. A GoPro taking a picture of a uh, an area where a bunch of people are uh, filming an eclipse you can see stars in this one as well are you not getting that this image is uh, manipulated which one the image you are sending well i sent two so far it's not even a real image it's uh, all for image. it's what <laughs> The the image you are sending of solar total solar eclipse is a Photoshop image. Wh which one? It's not even the, a real observation. The, I, like I said, the I, first one. You, 
the, the one from Eddington? Yeah. Uh, no, not from it's it's not from Eddington, right? It's from somewhere else. No, it's this is the one the it, first one I gave you. The first one I gave you is from Eddington. That's a copy of the plate uh from Eddington. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. So and and yes, uh, it, it's not the actual plate. It was scanned onto a computer, and then people uh, did in fact do some some editing to to show where the uh, um, the stars are. Why so you don't have a raw raw images, unadulterated images? I I don't it's I don't have the plate. I don't have the plate. Yeah, I don't have access. Yeah, to you the, can do. You can plate. you can go to the next solar eclipse, total solar eclipse, and you can see there will be no stars. For I you. will be going to that on April eighth. I will. Yeah, and in, in be Texas. prepared uh, with other people with your cameras, with your infrared or any kind of cameras, and you will not see any star. I am planning to bring the P one thousand, and hopefully get uh, get some pictures now. Uh, Anyway, so so I did exactly what you asked for. You're welcome. Um, yeah. Let's see. Here's. Um, so all right. What, so I gave you two. What, so what, so the second look at, look at the second one. What? Look at the second one while you're at it there. Uh, I'll send the. I'll send it again. There it is. Second one of 2008. Yep. I just yep 2008 okay, huh. total solar eclipse 2008. So there it is. It's a GoPro of so there's a bunch of people with telescopes and cameras, and then the GoPro was just uh, taking uh, a wide field of view of that, and you can see the actual uh, the moon in the sun. It's and then you can see some stars. So there you go. Are you showing that on your live stream? Yes. Yeah, I'll see it for you. Yeah. yeah. There you go. So uh yeah. you're you're welcome. Yeah, so what what right. do you think about the moon like the moon don't have a bright hot spot like if the moon is reflecting the sunlight then uh, any round object if you are seeing and if this is round then there will be a hot spot. But when we see the moon if we are seeing the moon then moon is equally bright from corner to middle to corner. Oh, do you have like the measurements? It. Like yeah, if you go to the full moon, eh, then, yeah, do, do, uh, could you could you send me the measurements of the the luminosity across the face of the moon? Uh, you can see it by your own eyes. You you'll see like so, you'll distribute. You, you've made a very specific even the claim. corners are more bright, and right, every corner is same brightness. Back to page twenty-two. Back to page twenty-two of the debater's guide. Page twenty-two. You have you have a claim. You have a warrant. A warrant is the the reason why you should accept the claim based on the data. So the data is the thing that you're missing. You're going to need to to have some data, the actual measurements of the luminosity across the face of the moon that are all the same from edge to center to edge. You're going to need to provide. You know, that. I'm going to I'm going to do an experiment where I'm focusing the moonlight with very uh, uh, what we say that. A glass that focuses every light on us. Magnifying glass? Yeah. Magnifying glass, yeah. yeah. There is a different kind of magnifying glass uh, someone have, and I have contacted him. And I will, on the time of full moon, I will, in the night, I will focus that uh, on a paper, on a thin paper, and try it to burn. So would you do you think that it will burn the paper? I already did it, that. Do you, do, do you know it that? It can I, burn the paper. I did, no, not not burn it. No one can burn it. It doesn't get that hot. It 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 is not predicted to get that hot. So uh, there's no reason why you would think that it would get that hot. Uh, but I can. I see. I may have it. Um, yeah, let's see. No, hold on. I think the action lab was also doing that, but he didn't do it in right way. Uh, I didn't like his thing. All right, hold on. I have um. Oh, that's not it either. All right, I have to find the the folder that has it, and I can show it to you. Um, that's not it. Let 
moon and atmosphere, moon phases, moon transparent. Oh, that's not it either. Okay. And I, I, I misplaced the folder. I think it's in my videos folder. I think that's why. Hold on. One more, one more thing. If I don't find it there, then, then I will, uh, I'll have to send. Yeah, it's not there. All right. Um, okay. Oh, oh, I found it. Hold on. Oh, no, I didn't. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> nope, that's not it. Okay. I will, uh, yeah, I will have I to get back to you. I'll have to get back to you. But uh, I awesome. did, hold on. I did measure. Um, when I used a, an eight inch Fresnel lens, it, it raised the temperature of the, uh, the, the thermometer by one to two degrees Celsius compared to the one that was just in the moonlight. So it, it increased the temperature by a small amount as predicted by, by physics. So. Okay. One more trick for you old glories. If you like, do you think that if the, at the time of solar eclipse, total solar eclipse, then if someone is just behind the moon, right? And if someone is other side of the globe, right? So their weight will vary just because of the gravitational pull by sun and moon together. Their weight will vary? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, by a small amount, yeah. How much? It's uh, like somewhere down. Like yeah, I don't know exactly by how much. It's somewhere down in five or six decimal points deep. Yeah, so you can, someone can buy gold, a lot of gold at the time of that. No, and you in fact, at the opposite that, side. it doesn't work that way because you, gold isn't based on weight. It's based on mass. No, in India, gold is based on weight. They, uh, we buy gold in, in, in grams. In, in grams? That's what I'd say. Do you, are you aware that yeah, grams are a measure of mass, not weight? Yeah, in the United States, I think they use it for mass but you don't care like like weight what is weight weight is mass times gravity uh gravitational uh gravity uh, gravitational constant yeah uh, yeah times yeah, they're different uh, yeah, times they're... uh well, yeah. not the no not the gravitational constant f equals ma mass times yeah, acceleration like it's like, so the, the downward yeah, density, acceleration uh, but, yeah. the downward density, acceleration uh, which is due to the mass of the yeah, earth downward. yeah that's causing the weight yeah. Uh, so typically they'll use a balance scale instead of a spring scale for doing precious metals like that. Yeah, like it's very confusing. Like in Europe, people use other things in India. In, in Europe, people confused. mostly use metric system, just like in most of India. As far as I know, right? You use grams, they use grams. Yeah, like like somewhere grams is uh, mass, or sometimes grams is weight, uh, mass, and somewhere it's uh, weight. And, and I get that may be confusing to sometimes. Uh, you, you can have like a piezoelectric uh, scale that measures only measures uh, force; it doesn't measure mass. But they'll what they'll do is they will equalize it. They'll set it to measure gram weight. <clears throat> but not <clears throat> sorry not gram mass because you can't measure gram mass using a, a force meter okay yeah uh so yeah that that so, can be confusing like, to people like, but 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 in the true sense grams grams are strictly mass uh but when they they have this kind of this fudge factor not fudge factor this fudging of of gram uh that are scaled to 1g as weight yeah no i think like if you go to the moon then your grams will be divided by six right so it's uh mass it's is weight. the same on the moon but the weight is the is one sixth on the moon yeah yeah so so yeah, buy like buy your gold on the moon using trick the guy when you're on the moon trick him into using a balance or sorry a a, a spring scale instead of a balance scale <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that'll get him <laughs> That'll do it. So we like we was talking about moon. So what do you, what's your stand on the inverse square law? That's totally different the moon landings because the, they was watching the moon and moon should be way more bright. Way more bright. Yeah, but they're but they yeah. but they didn't have view of the entire moon. They only had a view of the, the area that they were close to. So if the moon brightness is that low, 
that they showed that moon should not be visible from that uh, long distance like 235 miles take, 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 the the entire, miles. Yeah, so take the entire surface visible. of the moon take the entire surface of the, of the moon when you're when you're calculating but, your, your light quantity but the, and, and then apply that to the distance to the earth and then when they're at the, the surface they only had the the area right next to them that they were looking at. They didn't have the entirety of the moon shining on them. They only had the little area where they're at. This is uh, this is. I think it's the moonlight is uh, considered uh, one lux luminosity, right? I I don't know one the lux. I don't know the units. No, I'll fan no. It's it's considered one lux, and uh, if you put the inverse square law, even considering the atmosphere even removing the atmosphere of Earth because atmosphere is also dimming the light. But we are not accounting even it. Even after that, the inverse square law is telling that uh, it will be about trillions times more than what we see. More. Oops, right. Uh, okay. Show me, show, me show, show me the math. Show me the math. Yeah. Go ahead. Can you do it? Right, write it down. Uh, write it down. Put, put, it on your, put it on your notebook there. Like inverse square law and uh, like uh, what is the uh, like intensity is equals to uh, one upon distance square and the I uh, the other uh, formula is uh, intensity as at uh, distance one upon intensity at distance two is equal to uh, distance two squared upon distance one squared right. So if we consider the if we consider intensity one lux right because it's considered one lux if we consider it one lux because we are comparing so the distance if we consider d one the distance of uh, three lakh seventy six thousand kilometers and d two is one meter right zero point zero zero one kilometer because we are just astron astronaut is watching the moon surface so the i two means the intensity from the perspective of astronaut, it would be uh, uh, for uh, 141,590 trillion lux. It's like that so, is the calculation. So, do, do you imagine the that the many square kilometers of the moon were simultaneously pointing all of their light at the astronauts? Or do you think maybe it's just the, the vicinity around them? Um, no, even like you cannot say that because even if uh, there is a half moon, then it is as luminous as a full moon, right? No, like we, we count it's, the luminosity, it's, not as, it's, it's not, lux, right? It's not as luminous, a half moon is not as luminous, yeah. It, it's not, but we can do the calculations right with the uh, one quarter moon, okay? Can't we do that? Sure. Like moon is like very, very bad. Like, uh, you know, that Apollo, all the Apollo missions, you have a map of Apollo missions where yeah. you can search on Google and the, you know, that moon is tightly locked towards the earth. So yes. all the Apollo missions who landed was here, 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 here in the middle. Yeah. No one landed here, here. Yeah. And it is always facing towards the earth because it is tightly locked, right? Correct. So if it is tightly locked and facing towards the Earth, then how they was getting the Earth image from the horizon? The Earth was never near the, the horizon Earth when image, they were. The Earth was never near the horizon when see, they were on the surface. You can see, you can see every image uh, transferred from NASA that bring, they claim that bring, they took it bring from one. Moon. Every just one Earth is at the horizon. Just one. What? All I want, just one. One photograph okay. from the moon, I'll... from the surface of the moon, where the the Earth is on the horizon. Wait, I, I'll I'll give you so many. Only one. Okay, you, you, you read your super chat. Read the super chat. All right. Uh, PhD Tony says, and we enter the outright lie portion of the discussion. If you look at your left, you'll catch a stunning view of the summit of Mount BS. And then Count Discalcula says, New Moon, did you forget the R in your name? Should it read new? I'm not going to read that. Count Discalcula. I love the name, though. (laughs) 
Um, anyway, make sure it's from NASA's website, not a, not something that's made by a hoaxer. Oh yeah, that that mute mute donkey. That one there. You that's know a that. good one. That's a good one. All right, what do you? All right, yeah. Let's see that one. Are you aware that that one was a composite made by some faker? Show me that okay, on NASA's you, you, website. New Moon, I know exactly. You know, I knew exactly you know. what you were going to show. Show that on NASA's website. Go ahead. I, Off you go. You can search for the. Wait. Off you go. My internet is not working. Yeah, you can search for the what we say the blue marble image. Where was it? The blue marble. The blue marble was taken in yeah. in transit between the moon and the sun and the Earth. Why you are not doing your research? Why am I not doing what? Why am I not doing your research for you? I don't no, know. No, your own research. What what research do I okay. need to do? I need you to show me one photograph on NASA's website where the moon is near the horizon. That's what is that? Yeah, what was that on the surface? It's 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 you you're seeing it's the horizon. Was but that if your moon on is the surface? Not, you're in the middle, then you should see upside. Was that on the surface? What? That was not on if the you, surface. If you tell that if you tell that this is wrong, then New Moon, you New might moon. get that very bad. was not taken from the surface. That was taken from orbit of the moon. What? Yes. It's not okay, like I've been, just, I've been through this before. Why are you saying that? I've been through this before. The first one you showed was a composite that some hoaxer made. The second one was taken from orbit. Show me a picture on the surface, remember I said that, of the Earth near the horizon. And it needs to be on NASA's website. I know you won't find it. Uh, yeah, there. So sentient, sentient Arthur sent one there that was taken uh, from the moon where the Earth is high. I believe that's a pile. Is that 16 or 17? Uh huh. Yeah, that's in orbit, dude. That's in orbit. All right, you, you muted yourself again. You don't have to mute yourself. There you go. That's that's Apollo Eleven mission. Yeah, it's and it's in mm -hmm. orbit. That's not on the surface. Huh? Are you? You need a picture. Of the Earth, you said your claim is Earth near the horizon when they're on the surface, right? Not when they're in orbit, when they're on the surface. Now, so people, the the one that's got, um, I don't know, the the astronaut coming down is from Apollo eleven. That's that's where you do see the the earth that one is a composite if somebody can find again you dude again that's in orbit <laughs> you keep finding them in orbit not when they're on the moon okay even if you say that this is the orbit it's in orbit are the city lights where, where what? are the city lights the city? where are the city lights the city lights yeah where are the city lights Don't you oh understand gosh. what is a city light? Yes, I do understand the city lights. I also understand photography. You don't understand yeah. photography. Really? <laughs> These are the city lights, right? See that? Uh, I, I, I don't know. It's a little hard to make out. It looks like there might be some city lights there, but that was... Uh, it doesn't look like it was Apollo that, from the surface. That's a Photoshop image, but... Okay. It should be like that. It should be like that. Right? Why should it be city like that? City lights should be visible. But yeah, in again, NASA images, do, there was do, no city you should, light. All right. Do you think that in 70s there was no city? Can, can, I, can, I send you, can I send you a book? Tell you what. I will, I will send you a book called Understanding Exposure by Brian Peterson. 
Uh, I'll send that to you, and then you can understand how exposure works in photography. It's a great book. Really? I have a copy of it. Okay. Um, I give it. I give it Make, to people uh, uh, when they buy a nice camera. I'm like, hey, let me send you a book. I'll send. I'll do it. I'll you give me. Send me your address. Email me your address. I will. I will get that book. You know. You have. You have my email address. Already. I have your email address. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't need that because I do my own research and oh, I you, go you, where I want to go. You, you need it. Look, you need that this, book. Look, this is this is the image from Indian Space Agency, right? And you can see moon. So, I you know you what I see, see in that? I see the reflection of your other phone in that. Wait, I have to put its brightness low. <laughs> no. Okay. It's it's hard to make out, but okay, it it's something. Yeah, so they have focused the Earth and the Moon both at the same time from space out. Yeah, and no stars is visible in you the background. Not, yeah, and you can it, search. You yeah. can wait if you if you want. If you source, see stars, you can search Earth. You can uh, yeah yeah you can search Earth image taken from ISRO I S R O yeah. and you will find that image. It yeah, will have only posted three images in their lifetime of Earth. Two in right. 2009 and, and one is latest in 2023. Okay. Um, so you will, sure you, will you are saying that how the focus work. <laughs> you are just saying it. But how, how in ISRO well? image, you can say that, oh, it's there making it. I, I, I'll be good. But they showed that Earth and Moon from millions of kilometers, but there are no stars in the background. So how they are focusing on two, two things. Again, again. You do not understand exposure. Photographic exposure is something that eludes you. That's fine. Let here. Here's a challenge for you, New Moon. <clears throat> um, I give well, you, you a challenge. You cannot face it. You, you can't. I, you, you, if the Earth is in the exposure, how the Moon is visible there, and no stars are visible. Because are they lying? exposure. Yes, yeah, people that do understand photography are not confused by this. So here's the challenge to you. you do it yourself. You, you you can't you can't do it tonight because it's a new moon. But in two weeks you can do it. Go outside, take a picture of the moon. When there's no clouds, take a picture of the moon and expose the moon on your camera so that you can see the the details of the moon. And then tell me if you can see the stars at the same time in that same picture. <clears throat> yeah, I'll not see them. If you see but, pictures but... with the earth from space and stars are visible it's a good chance that it's fake because you should not see stars unless unless they're overexposing it on purpose so that you can expose for the stars uh and then the then the earth will be blown out <clears throat> means you are saying that they took pictures from a million kilometers from earth and the earth is in exposure but they can see moon from the other side but they cannot see the background stars that's correct. they can focus on yeah, two that, things it's not about focus it's that. about exposure yeah exposure so if, if the earth is in exposure then it should wash out everything including moon if the moon is not washed out why the earth, the moon is not nearly as bright as the earth Do you know that some stars are also as bright as moon, luminous as no, moon? No, they're not. And Jupiter is also as luminous as moon. No, they're not. <laughs> and some people say that the sun is reflecting light. The Jupiter is reflecting the sunlight. That is of a course, gaseous planet. Of course it is, yes. This is so incredibly uh, dumb. Yes, yes, of course it is. That is that is, <laughs> that is correct. Gas don't reflect light that much that you will see a bright moon. In, like in a, fact, gas like does reflect than any light. Star. Yeah, gas does reflect. Yeah, it's light. brighter yeah. than anything. No, not not that much. Uh, like if the sunlight is hitting the moon. Well, the, let, let me remind you again of page twenty-two. Peter, that is a billion. Page oh, twenty-two okay. in the book, uh, debater's guide, where you have you have data, and you have a claim, and you and and the warrant connects the data to the claim, but you have not provided the data. You've only made the claim. You guys have the claim that the page, moon is reflecting page, the sunlight. Page twenty-two. Yeah, work. and the way the way that we know that is uh, there's a few f few things you can you can look at it during the day. The simple version: take a uh, take a ball and hold it right next to the moon at arm's length, 
and you will see that the amount of, of uh, illumination on the moon and the amount of illumination on the, the par portion that's illuminated on the ball are the same. That's one way. Another is you can look at the, the uh, Fraunhofer lines from the sun and the Fraunhofer lines from the moon, and they match. So there you go. All right. Oh, somebody put up a luminosity chart okay. here. So we've got um, <clears throat> the apparent magnitude. So a negative value of an apparent magnitude is brighter than a positive value. So the full moon is looks about, like about negative 12 luminosity. Venus at its brightest is negative 4. Sirius is, I think, uh, negative, I don't know, 1 or 2 in there. And then Polaris is about looks like positive two or two and a half so uh no the stars are not as bright as the moon not not even close so yeah uh i think you you uh, muted yourself again so okay um <clears throat> All right, Janish says uh, Ian Ware Square's law states that flurfs can't math. I have to agree with that. All right, I'm going to I'm going to um, to say thank you to you. Um, it's been it's been a good chat chat for sure. Um, anything else? I mean, you you did want to mention the great. Right, right. The thing that I that I showed yeah, you yeah. that okay. I did prepare. So if you have anything okay, else, I'll, I'll, I'll mention. I'll, yeah. I'll take five minutes more, right? And okay. I'll go. Uh, like if you do a poll, like uh, after this debate, how many people will come closer to flat Earth, or how many people will come closer to globe Earth? Oh. Then I might think like uh, like I got the debate right, or me. and can, other things like. Uh, uh, I can do the poll right now. Uh, like, okay. Okay, keep going. And by the way, why, why don't you think that there, there should be a ice continent at the uh, North Pole, but there is nothing. And the North Hemisphere is totally different compared to the Southern Hemisphere. The distribution it should of, be, of land masses, yeah, it, it varies. It, yeah, yeah, there should be a continent full of ice, but there is not. But that's very weird. But there is a continent of ice. Antarctica is a continent of ice. Can, Antarctica continent of stuff, ice. Like, no one can go there and they're... <laughs> Providing you, dude. I, I read. I have a video on my channel where where I read the entire Antarctic Treaty. You can go there. Yeah. I, I, Freedom I of scientific investigation shall How? not be stopped. It's the first. It's the first article. No one can go there. Except that the treaty says you can. And there are thousands even of people if treaty there says, right even if now. Treaty then there are thousands of people there right now. Him. Stop lying. There are thousands do, of people there right now. Have, yeah, but they are not privately exploring. They they cannot go further south with their company. You can't go any farther south than the, than the geometric or the geographic South Pole. That's the literal farthest south you can go. Everywhere else from there is north. No, they cannot go there. Except there are thousands of people there right now. Don't lie. Don't lie. Okay? Stop lying. People are there. People are there right now. Literally thousands of people are there right now. Oh, that's that's why your ISS don't fly over there. Right? They don't fly over That's the why what? Poles. That's the why ISS what? don't fly over poles. No flights fly the, over the, the poles. The ISS doesn't fly over the poles? Of course not. That's not its orbit. Yeah, it, it, it just go to uh, 51 degrees and yeah. It's not allowed them to do further. The ISS, the, why would the ISS have that orbit? There are three satellites that that have polar orbits that NASA runs right now. That are that, that goes over the, the both poles. So what, what, why does it why does it matter if the ISS is there or not? So all right, the poll the poll's going. All right. Uh, uh, uh. Let's see. I'm I'm I, I got some paperwork I'm filling out here. Um, there we go. Ooh, 
Nope. Don't have it yet. Um, I don't okay, know if we're going to have that. any video where do you have do you have any video where you can see where at a certain kind of altitude where you think that you can see the curvature? So where, you can see a uh, 360 degree curvature. Like you have a camera, you are seeing the curvature, and you are moving camera 360 degrees, and you are seeing the curvature of all 360 degrees. You want a, a single camera that's doing 360 degrees? Or, like do, you want, you, or do you want a camera that's turning in all directions while it's while it's going? Like maybe uh, someone astronaut from ISS, they, he, he's seeing the curve and he moved and showed the whole Earth curve from every side. From every side? Yeah. Fr from the ISS. There's no video like that. I, I, okay. Yeah. It doesn't matter. If, if Are you not getting my point? Like if the earth is curving like that, if you're seeing the curving, uh -huh. then if you turn back, then there will, and that is also curving. If you are leveling yourself with the curvature. So if you turn 180 degrees, then that is also curving. Then where the all curvature will be? That's the point. So you cannot see the curvature. I don't think you understand <laughs> how that works, do you? Man, you don't understand anything. Wow. You don't know that if the curvature is there, if it is curving like that, right? You are level, you level yourself, uh -huh. right? You level yourself, you are there, you see curvature. Yeah. You move 180 degrees, seeing the curvature, yeah. curving, going down. Yeah. So how the all lines will meet once? The, if you're going down, going down, going down, how will all the meet? Oh my gosh. All right. Yeah, there here's, is no curvature in global he, he, model. All so. right. Here, here's another. So you right, can just here's make another, a fake take it inside. Here's another challenge for you, all right? You've got a phone. The phone's got cameras on it. Do you have, have access to, like, an exercise ball or some sort of a sphere? And, uh, you, you, don't, you don't need to mute yourself. You keep muting yourself. All right. Yeah, sorry. sorry. I, I, so do you have access to, like, a, an exercise ball or, or some sort of a sphere that's a good size? Uh, no, I don't know right now. Not not right now. Like tomorrow, or the next day, or something later today. Like, is is there an exercise? You know what an exercise ball, right? Like a. Do you know what Einstein said? Einstein said that I do every theory in my mind. I don't hold do on, hold on, hold on. Don't don't. I, right, I don't think. Dude, so I can don't jump your do hold my on. motivation. Hold on, don't jump the topic. I'm just I just want to challenge you to to do this. Find an exercise ball or some sort of a ball, a basketball, a soccer ball, something, right? You call it a football, right? Get get your phone, right? Do this, do this, all right? Because you won't believe me if I if I do it. Get your phone, get the camera that's close to the edge of it, and get that ball, right? And put it right there, just rest it on the ball, take a video, rotate it 360 degrees. Do that, okay? That's what it, that's what it should look like on a ball because you just did it on a ball. And then go look at that video, okay? There's a challenge for you. Okay, what was the thing about Einstein? No, no, I was just saying that Einstein told once, like, uh, I do all my theories without any observation on my paper, and I make the about the universe corrections and on my paper. And yeah. do you know that uh, in Hubble was his friend, and when no, when he first saw the saw from through Hubble telescope, he saw it in 1930, right? And oh, before wait. that, he didn't even see the universe. And oh. He made the general theory of relativity. Okay. He he looked through the Hubble yeah. skull, the, the Hubble, Hubble telescope, telescope in 1938. He, he told no. He 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 seen it in 1931. Saw yeah, saw what in 1931. He's seen the sky. He's seen the space for the first time, Einstein. Okay. And he made the general theory of relativity that you are still bearing on you. Back. So? So what? Like, he, like, if he can do everything in imagination, I can also imagine a ball. And I know that if the, it is curving and it will so then the curvature will not match if I am, I am like a bee on a ball. But but I'm I'm why why does it matter? I, I why did you bring that up about Einstein? Uh, I just uh, bring that because uh, like you can like Einstein's uh, uh, 
watched through telescope for the first time. Do you know when? I don't care. For what, the first it, time in his life. What's it matter? Okay. Okay. No problem. Okay. No problem. All right. Um, three Ron. Three Ron's wondering if you work at a call center. <laughs> no. Uh, Twitch says the sun and stars prove Earth is a spherical globe. There it is. I, I cannot argue that. Um, all right. So, any, anything else? What I, I, I'll answer. He's saying the sun and the stars say that the Earth is a globe. Like you are seeing the sky, you are living on the Earth. You need to look on the Earth, not the sky. Like the sky could be a deception by created by like the creator who created the world. He may create. So, so the, in creator, a way where the creator, the creator deceives can, people. people that seems like no, a weird, weird creator. Do you think, in a do you think way that the, the creator is more moral? Do you think the creator is maleficent? What? Do you think the creator is maleficent? Uh, no, according to me, the creator is like this world is uh, cannot be the creation of the like like this world is the creation of the creator, but could not be the best creation of the world. Uh, creator. So, so, so the you think you think the creator people. is deceiving people? So this kind of people. test. I just so want to be clear. this test, uh, he's he need to uh, like provide every kind of stuff like uh, so people can have different kind of models. Okay, I, I just want to be clear. It sounds to me like you think the creator is deceiving people uh not really deceiving but you have to understand a lot like what i'm saying i, I cannot teach you that okay well the the reason why we can look at the sun and the stars to determine the shape of the earth is because we can apply geometry to it if you think it's wrong then you have the burden of evidence to show that it's wrong so like you're seeing right. the feeling to verify what birthplace you're living you're saying that I'm saying what? You are seeing to the ceiling to know what you're like, where you're living. Yeah, yeah, yeah to the totally, space. absolutely, totally works. Because in your mind, you have a model like we are part of that all space, but we are not. That place is just made for the decoration, maybe. Oh well, the, let me. The stars are for the decoration for us, right? Let me refer you again to the debater's guide, page twenty-two. That says you you have a you have a, a claim, and you have data to support the claim, and then the warrant then is what uh, binds them together. And so you've made a claim, but the the data would be the part that's lacking. All right, let me finish. I'm going to wrap up the poll here. Uh, the poll okay. the poll a, a question is: Are you closer to flat Earth? No, eighty nine percent, and yes. 10% out of 165 votes. That means that 16 people are closer yeah. to flat Earth. I suspect there are 16 that were already flat Earthers or some sarcastic people. So, all right. Um, I've got I've wait, got wait, another wait. Uh, live stream coming up in a little bit. But if you have anything else, I'm I'm you can go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I have some more things oh, like right. uh, like uh, you made once a video like uh, you can see the uh, shadow of mountains below the clouds. So that was wrong, but I don't want to go there. Okay. And uh, thing uh, uh, like why don't you guys have a laser test experiment like F.E. Co. did in nine, 2019 where oh, they I did a as experiment on Lake Balaton at yeah. uh, 50 kilometers, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you? Uh, well, because that's not a great way to do an experiment, but I do rather like their experiment. You know that? Yeah. Okay, no oh. problem. Uh, hold on. So oh. we also, have, not only, yeah, not only, uh, we also have mirror flash, uh, what you're standing on it. It's a perfect line of sight. What's that? There's no reflection. Mirror test reflections, right? Mirror reflections. Yeah, I, I mean, I thought you didn't want to talk about uh, refraction. Okay. Yeah, you can talk about that, yeah. All right, I'm looking for, I think I have their PDF. Let's okay, see. so we have mirror flashes, right? One. All right, hold uh, on. Laser no, no, test we're going to, one, one thing at a time waves. here. One thing at a time here, buddy. No, no. All right. Look, radio waves 
uh, radio waves that is about 108 megahertz and we detect it right you can say that uh, radio waves diffract so okay we also have microwaves with 250 miles uh -huh. how can you say that it really proves that the earth is flat microwaves microwaves the observations of are you, you talking are you talking about the loran yeah. you're talking about loran right Uh, I'm talking L about Laura, L O R A, L O R A, right? Is that what you're talking yeah, about? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah trop, trop, it's called tropospheric ducting. And it only happens under certain weather conditions. It does not happen all the time. So what happens is, is uh, within the troposphere, which is lower than the ionosphere, in the troposphere, there is uh, st steep temperature gradients. That's why it's, it depends on the temperature or the weather and a steep enough temperature gradients that when when the the signal is at a rather shallow angle it will get a total internal reflection and it, you can get you can get a very long distant uh signal but it's not all of the time if the earth were flat it would have to happen all the time but since it's dependent highly dependent on on the conditions it is a supporting of the globe Bro, it is 99% success rate. Do you know that? And you're saying that it is reflecting. Like everything is reflecting. It's impossible. Okay. Do uh, you have the data then? You know that. What? What data? They are giving the data. They are saying that it is 99% success rate. So you are saying to from the uh, troposphere, uh, it's reflecting. Post the 99% success rate. We'll go tear apart and go through it. Post it every time. What? Post you know it. You, you made the claim, not me. You okay, made the claim. You, you told about ionosphere, right? You, All right, you hold told on. about ionosphere. Do you know? Do you know the what is the maximum frequency that ionosphere can? I didn't drop? talk about know? ionosphere. You weren't listening. You talked about it. I talked you, about, you talked the about troposphere. 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 Yeah. 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 So okay. So what is what is the frequency limit of troposphere? Tell me. It doesn't have. It does not have the same frequency limit as the ionosphere. It's a different condition. What is ionosphere? Do you know that it's forty megahertz, according it, to Britannica? It is between thirty and forty megahertz on the ionosphere. Yeah. But we're not talking about the ionosphere. We're talking about the troposphere. Okay. So do you know that it's it's they say it's forty, but in nineteen thirty two. Uh, do you know that there are radio telescopes? The first tele radio telescope by uh, in 1932 uh, that uh, detected the radio waves was uh, 20 megahertz. And okay. now we have radio waves of uh, till 108 megahertz. So how you are getting it? You how, can say that. It's how am I getting what? So, but how am I getting what? What? I don't know what you're like, talking do you about. Know you know said that Microwaves are line of sight. Do you believe that? Like it don't diffract very much like radio waves. You mean refract? Diffract, Mi diffract. Microwaves both diffract and refract. They both, they do both. Microwaves don't diffract as much as radio waves diffract. Okay. Because microwaves have the higher frequency, you know, so it doesn't. Uh, I, I don't know if you're aware of this. It new moon but microwaves are a subset of radio waves but it has higher frequency man what is the range of radio waves and microwaves do you know that I do. it has a higher frequency means it has a shorter so, so generally so radio waves right radio waves are generally anything above zero zero hertz all the way up to the edge of visible light that's kind of the the radio wave uh, uh below infrared right in that that range there so so it's a very broad radio waves are very broad um uh, spectrum and microwaves are a subset of of uh radio waves but it has higher frequency right what, than which, radio waves microwave no microwave are radio waves they have the same frequency as radio waves because they are radio waves so what specific frequency ranges are you speaking of do you know that what is the frequency range of microwave and what is the frequency range of uh, like radio wave is okay. uh, like I... microwaves comes in radio wave right but the microwave is higher frequency than other 
All right. It is like upper part of the radio waves, higher frequency. All right, so it will not deflect as much as uh, 108 mm. megahertz because microwaves are about uh, 300 megahertz to 30 gigahertz, right? All right, I'm looking it up for you. Fre microwaves are from 1 gigahertz to 300 gigahertz. Radio waves are, are lower than that. No. Why? Why are you saying that? Rad microwaves are radio waves. I know that. All microwaves are radio waves. All of them. So radio waves are up to 300 gigahertz. But so, uh, yeah, it's up to 300 gigahertz. Then microwave starts. Then that's why I tell I told you that no, uh, microwave no, starts no. at 300 giga, uh, megahertz M till... All right, let, let me tell you. Then it will lead to infrared, right? Oh my gosh, New Moon. Uh, it, it hurts. New Moon, you don't... Huh? Do you know what I studied at university? Uh, maybe you studied uh, computer science? And? I... I I watched your whole whole one more. Uh, debate. With one more, and one and more thing. I stu I had two major fields of study in in uh, at university. I think you you told about that in with the, your debate Jaren uh, discussion too, and you told that you was in computers, and he told you that you was in computers. So you think that everything works like computer works? No, no. Cosmology. Yeah, I, oh I, I remember that. All right, all right. I, I'll, I'll tell. The other thing that I majored in was electrical engineering. Are you aware that within electrical engineering, we study the propagation of radio waves? That's one of the topics. Yeah, but you don't know what the range of microwave is. And yes, I do. The right thing. Yes, I do. Microwave, one gigahertz to 300 gigahertz. And what about 300 megahertz? 300, than 300 megahertz. 300 megahertz is less than microwave because microwave starts at one gigahertz. To, uh, if something is for 500 giga, uh, megahertz, then it will not call as a radio wave map. It will call as a microwave. Oh my gosh. You can, you can look into it again. I, I can look into it again. Oh, thank you for the permission. <laughs> Yeah, 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 right. Oh my gosh. All right, all right. Uh, just for reference, radio waves are everything up to 300 gigahertz and microwaves are one to 300 gigahertz. One gigahertz to 300 gigahertz. There's a, a large area to uh, less than one gigahertz. Okay. So there you go. So microwaves have less diffraction and if you are... Uh, if a microwave is going, and then it will go in a line of sight. It will no, it not, doesn't. Like no, a radio it's wave, still, it it's still, different. yeah, well, line of sight being something optical, and optical things refract. So, yes, by that definition, yes, but they are not straight. They curve. Means, uh, you are saying that microwaves refract. Yes, they do. There you go. Now we're on the same page. Okay. Upwards. What's that? Do you know everything? Do you know everything refracts towards the more denser medium? Yes. And you are saying it is it's upwards. I did not say that. I said it okay. refracts towards the denser medium. Yes, it def definitely does. You know about sonar that uh, observes four hundred miles. <laughs> you are all over the place. Yes, I'm. I, I I'm familiar with sonar. What about it? And what about long distance photographies that people capture? And like uh, David Gansprey showed a uh, 750 miles photography of, of uh, sonar. Last. Uh, no, long distance photography. Uh, Tabu Gansprey posted a video where someone has given him 750 miles long range photography. Um, you you could have you could have looked at at that a little closer you, you maybe could have looked at some of the stuff that i've mentioned um because those are clouds really really they're clouds so yes 
you think that the ionosphere just reflect the things do you, do you think that the, no i think that the 700 mile observation claimed from taboo conspiracy to see the alps from the mountain in wales was not in fact uh the alps it was clouds you didn't know that do you know at what frequency you can contact to iss astronauts oh my gosh you are all over the place i love it uh what frequency i don't know offhand no it's between 145 megahertz to 146 megahertz and uh, okay. you say that between there there's an ionosphere so how that uh, okay so it can penetrate the ionosphere uh, because it's higher frequency but do you know about the radio telescopes the radio telescopes uh, capture according to astronauts they capture the uh, radio waves and that is as low as 20 megahertz yeah so yeah. how it is penetrating all right i'll i'll uh... A little, little. Have to look into no, no, no. Here, here. It's a little Snell's law for you here. I, I may have, I may have. Uh, uh, hold on. I may have a, a diagram already done for this. I don't know. I did. It was Trey Hutchinson was the last time I think I, I did this. It may so it may be a different notebook. There. Nope. All right. I'll, it's a, I'll have to do a new one. Um, so I, uh, you know, I made, I made bread last night and, uh, and then this morning made, made, uh, bird's eyes out of that bread. It was pretty good. Okay. So here we've got, um, I'm just going to draw a boundary. All right. Here's a boundary. Hold on. Between. Man, all right. There you go. Here's here's a a boundary. Say say that this is this is the ionosphere. I know you can't see right now, but uh, I just I drew a line. And then and then you've got you've got some some radio wave that's coming in incident to it. At an angle. And uh, the angle that it comes in if it's going to do what's called total internal reflection based on Snell's law, it will bounce off the same angle here. So my diagram might not be quite, quite perfect there, but uh, since I, I label it then, so, so the radio wave, if it comes in shallow, it will, it will reflect. And this is, this is Snell's law. The Snell's law tells us at what, what angle that will happen. Um, but if it's coming in at a steeper angle, it will it will not do the total internal reflection. Instead, it will refract and come off at a different angle there. So here's here's this other this other um, signal coming in. It hits that boundary, and that boundary isn't shallow enough. So instead of reflecting, it refracts and it goes off into a different uh, different angle there. So. Uh, the the answer to your question is how can a radio telescope work at less than thirty megahertz? The answer is because it's not it's not uh, measure it's not using it at a shallow angle. It's using it at an oblique angle. How's that? Uh, you have to look into it again. Like there is an experiment in nineteen thirty two. Then you will understand what I'm saying. Well, make sure you send that to me then. Like I cannot give you everything right now. Oh, you, I I know not right now. Send it later. Yeah. Take notes. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like because I come in hurry and join the deep air part. That's why. Do you know that you can visualize the ISS on flat Earth? You can visualize the ISS on flat Earth. Well, I suppose you could you could do a, a coordinate transform of its G, uh, GP over some flat earth, some arbitrary flat earth map, but you you need a plausible mechanism for how it stays up there. Now there is a video. Uh, if you search on YouTube once uh, after that, then there is a video ISS visualization. Just write on YouTube uh, uh -huh. ISS orbit visualization, not at flat earth, but otherwise. 
Okay. You'll get other result. Uh, you'll get it. So there will be a video where uh, they are comparing within with globe and flat earth and ISS can be visualized perfectly on a flat earth. Okay, it's but, but yeah, you, you missed the part where I said you need a plausible mechanism for how it works. Why? I think what keeps the ISS up over flat earth? I don't think that ISS is uh, put there by some humans because if you look into the orbit of ISS, then the ISS doesn't uh, like just imagine if someone launched the ISS from Earth, then Earth velocity like if it's uh, from uh, what we say in USA, Houston, uh, Houston, it has about uh, uh, speed of what is the rotation speed is in Houston, it is about 900 miles, right? The, the, the rotational nine? speed of Houston? Yeah, yeah, Earth rotation speed. Uh, oh, in, yeah, it's uh, going to be their latitude. Uh, the cosine of yeah, the latitude. latitude yeah 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 it's 900 may, maybe right yeah, according like... to 900 right so if uh, it is 900 then I'll, it should be it every on. time it should uh, be uh like if the globe is moving then it should also move uh 900 there but the uh the orbit is like that right but the orbit is like that but the earth is rotating in so 24 I, hours i, I don't know why i don't know why you want houston all right what the, the latitude yeah. of Houston so is, is 29.7, let's call it 30 degrees. Yeah. Right? Sound good? 30 degrees? So, what's the cosine of 30? Why you you want me to get the distance so, of ISS? No, no, no. You, you were talking about the rotational speed of, of Houston. So, what you do is you take the latitude and you multiply the latitude... Or you, sorry, you take the cosine of the latitude. So the cosine of 30 degrees is 0.86. And then you multiply that by the tangential speed at the equator, which is 1,040 miles per hour. So you multiply that, giving us 900 and 1, 901 very, miles an hour. So yeah. very good. You got it. You got it very, very good there. So 901 miles an hour is the tangential speed of Houston. So what, what about that then? What's next? You don't get it, my point, right? Of course the I don't. ISS, if you look into what ISS is, right? The ISS uh, orbits the Earth, uh, the globe Earth, in, uh -huh. in that way, right? And Earth is rotating below it. Uh -huh. but it doesn't count any kind of uh, orbital, ro uh, that rotation. Why not? So how it gets... What do you rotation? mean it doesn't do you know count? That? It doesn't count any what? ISS just go around and round and round, and Earth is rotating below it. Uh -huh. Like not like other satellites. Other satellites uh, uh, move uh, with the rotation of the Earth. It's you know that. Yeah, but there's ISS there's different something. there's different orbits. There's geostationary orbits. Yeah, I've got I've got it's a cat. Not, not geostationary orbit, man. is something else. Hold, hold, hold on a second. Look into the ISS. Hold, hold on a second. I, yeah. yeah, I've got a cat here. I I was just handed a cat. This one's. Have you seen my cats? This one's called Turtle. Hi, Turtle. He, oh, he's getting he's getting so big. He's a big old chunk. Oh, all right, there you go. But this one, oh, we've got all the cats, all the all the all of them on parade. This is Raccoon. Hi, Raccoon. Hello. She's not so whiny. Okay. And then we've got the super squirmy one. Oh, <laughs> there it is. Hi, Penguin. Oh, good girl. Oh, look right here. Look right here. No, don't, don't lick me. Look right up there. Look right there. Do oh, it's so cute. Do you, think, do you she... think that your cats understand you? Uh, no, no. They, they, they hear. I think that the dog, the dog understands a little bit, you know. She, she understands when she's in trouble and she understands when, uh, when I talk in an excited voice. She had, does us understand some words. If, if we say walk, no. we say walk. She gets excited. She goes and she yeah. she tries to get her leash. Um, According to me, what my theory is, I don't think that any animal knows that they exist. According to me, whether it's your cat or dog or any bee right. or any ant, I don't. Know any bee? They don't, I don't have consciousness. Yeah, some people have pet bees. Um, I, no, anyway, I, I'm yeah, not thank you for thank you for that philosophy. Okay. No, it's uh, it's my theory. So I don't consider. It. So well, you told about uh, you have to look into ISS. What I told you, so you will get yes. it. S send and, your uh, send your stuff. Send your stuff. I hope we're yeah, I, okay. uh, I hope we're taking notes. Are I you taking notes? Your, what what do I owe you? Your, what what do I okay, owe you? In your 
I, I, I'm giving you one more thing, right? In your yeah. direct message, I have sent you some links in Discord. And can you open the link number, uh, link number six, please? It's a one minute video. All right, and that on. is totally debunking our whole like studio, uh, space. Maybe an All right, hold on. Hold on. Oh, I love this one. This one's funny. All right. All right. You didn't, you, you should, you keep telling me to look into stuff. You didn't look into this one very well. Oh, all right. Hold on. I need to, I need, yeah, not, I got it. I got uh, it. It's, it's on the ISS, right? All right. Hold on. I'm getting yeah, play the, that video with sound for everyone so they can understand. All right. It's not like we haven't all seen it before, but um all right, hold on. I gotta I gotta position I gotta set up the scene so that people can see it. Uh oh, there it is. <laughs> all right. Um, here it is. And you want sound? Be in Omaha, Nebraska, or something. The, the, the shot is so clear. Is this a hoax? Are you really in space still? Is this a hoax? Are you really in space still? See the hair? <laughs> I don't know. We're gonna have to do some. All right. Now I'm. I paused it right here. I know you can't see this, but this is important. He's holding a microphone, right? You remember that? Show it. Um... Just a second. The whole video to I, I, I will. I have seen this video. He's holding. I'm, I'm, I want to. I want to call to your attention that he's holding a microphone, right? Remember that, and that microphone is on a wire, right? It's it's not a wireless microphone. It's got a wire, right? So the micro the the wire goes from from the microphone, um, down below his mouth a little bit, using, off to the side. I'm not uh, you play the whole video for just a, a second. Then, I I, I uh, want I yeah I will I will I will play the entire video, so that that wire goes off to the side on the microphone, right? Okay, and and if he's being suspended from wires, as as you're uh, about to claim, that those wires that he's being suspended by would have an interaction with the wire from the microphone. Just pay attention to that, people, as as I continue this, okay? Something for you. <laughs> so there it is. Now, uh, the wire from the microphone spun around with him. If he was being suspended by a wire that we cannot see, that wire that we cannot see and the wire from the microphone that we can see would have uh, crossed each other and that wire from the microphone would be on the other side of the wire that you think was supporting him but it's not it's in front of where that wire must be so i'll finish playing the video I do it. so there it is i finished I, he finished the loop all the way around and the wire from the microphone is in front of where any wire that he would have to be uh supporting him would be yeah. Play the whole video. Play the whole video, then do commentary. It's a short video. Oh yeah, I can do that. Watch this. <laughs> can everybody float around for us? That was really cool, Chris. Look at her. How how is she hanging sideways there? How does that happen? That's that's that kind of harness. How's that work? Look at her. How's this? She's doing a I think, twist. Uh, I think Sandy's hair is pretty much a dead giveaway. Oh. All of those maneuvers that they did are not possible in harnesses in in Earth gravity. I think uh, I think Sandy's hair is pretty much a dead giveaway. The ISS. All right. So so now what? You, you muted yourself again. Right. Play, play the whole video. Play the whole video. Then we will comment. The all you four minutes. Play that one point five x. Okay. If you want to date bar none, it is a. Yeah, I've, I've already. I've all right. I've already dealt with it. The wire from the microphone. So he's about to claim that there's a wire hanging off of his his hip, but the wire from the microphone has already debunked that I be that idea, because the wire from the microphone. Listen, the wire, the wire from the microphone, has not gotten tangled up in the wire that must be supporting him. Logical. 
has massive technical issues and even larger plot holes. So many, in fact, it is okay. difficult to know which to address first. Where do I start? Alphabetical? Chronological? Order of importance? The first one that springs to mind is probably the most ridiculous. It is what I like to call ISS hairspray. Remember earlier when... All right, so, so he, he's talking about hairspray, but he's already shown that it cannot be done in zero G. When I said nerds watch everything, that now includes all footage from the International Space Station. On that station, there are a lot of things that do not make sense, including the very station itself. Let's start from the inside and work our way out. The ISS is supposedly in zero gravity, which means all loose items inside should have a certain flowing feeling about them. You can see this in zero G planes that people sometimes rent. It is a kind of like being in... Now, for reference in these zero-G planes, these people probably had a regular hair washing recently. Swimming pool, where things like long hair act a certain way. Only women on the ISS have long hair. Technically speaking, I challenge any engineer on this. No one on the station should have any hair at all. It does not make sense. Hair of any length would break off and quickly clog the air filters. It would get everywhere. There is a reason why public swimming... So... <laughs> He's missing the forest for the trees. These people are hanging in ways that won't work with harnesses. ...pools require shower caps, yet NASA lets it slide. I will too in order to move to a bigger issue that stemmed from this slide. Now that long hair is allowed on the ISS, you have to deal with the zero gravity issue visually. In true zero G, long hair flows like it was in water. You can see this in zero G plane footage. Hair flows naturally to and fro and is expected. Look how long her hair is and how clean it is. This is not the case with the ISS. The women's hair almost invariably stands straight up like the bride of Franken. Look how short her hair is and how long has it been since she's had a real shower. I know that reference dates me. I'm older. Their hair is literally permed or at the very least sprayed to death. This is what I like to call a production risk. It is unnecessary and reckless. If you are staging a zero-G scene, there are a number of ways to visually deal with hair. You can pull the hair back into a ponytail. You can wear a cool NASA hat or any other logo you would like to endorse. As mentioned above, you could make short hair mandatory for both sexes. Look how short their hair the is compared to the, the zero-G plane. the hair in place. It never looks natural. Yes, it can be done to add a cheap zero-G effect, but you do not have to do it because the public already believes you are in near-Earth orbit. Again, all of this is easy to find. Simply search ISS hairspray. After that, you could look for ISS green screen, where the technical issues never stop because NASA is fond of giving live interviews to media and school children. One of my favorites One is watching an ISS member reach for and put away a hat on the other side of the room, even though he never grabbed it. You see the floating hat with CGI and the monitor layered glitch. Typical uh, deception here where they just loop the one thing back and forth. Uh, this guy here. In other parts of the interview, if they didn't just loop that one part, we'll stand there with his hands clasped. And at other times, he has his hand over holding himself uh, uh, rigid. Again, Mark Sargent has to deceive people. I cannot do it justice here. You will find it. You look like you're in a studio, maybe in Omaha, Nebraska or something. The, the, the shot is so clear. Is this a hoax? Are you really in space still? I think, uh, I think Sandy's hair is pretty much a dead giveaway. <laughs> Jane, take and of course mark Sargent doesn't understand mpeg compression and data loss so all right well i played the entire thing for you there and this it, is also supposed it, to be it, space it completely debunks the, the idea that it could be done uh on on earth but here's here's one um he he selected only certain portions of it uh, but here we see somebody washing her hair in space look at that it's flowing around loosely look at that why you are ignoring those parts they are doing it in zero g plane man that this was this this segment was significantly longer than any zero g plane can do look look at my screen her hair is like a hair on earth she has short and hair. She's supposed to be on the Yeah, she has short hair. All right. So so you've debunked you've debunked that they could be in harnesses. You've debunked uh 
that that it's that it's so a fake is, I think is what are, you did there are so many people who are becoming but do you have any evidence for flat earth here i'm still waiting for it i can give you so many but you I'm haven't given prepared. one why don't you start with one one evidence for flat earth instead of you just not believing things or you misunderstanding okay, how the you. globe works okay evidence, one evidence for flat earth okay i'll give you one yeah uh okay. do you believe in redshift uh redshift of of starlight no you know first time who detected the redshift he did hubble detected it right in 1930. no it was much before him uh who did who detected that in 1930. uh i think redshift uh in 1930 i don't know who did it maybe it was hubble in 1930 but in uh in 1848, Fizeau measured redshift. That's that's one of the earliest ones. Okay. So where, at what point you believe that the redshift was uh, like, like every scientist agreed that the redshift exists? At what, at what year? Do at what know? year did every scientist, I would say that probably not every scientist has ever agreed. Not every, most, mostly, mostly. I, I don't know. Don't go. With I, I don't, I right? don't know. Yeah. This is your chance to present evidence, not to ask yeah. me questions. It's 1930, right? Uh, at the time when Hubble see the Hubble see from his telescope, oh, and he you... thought that the and he uh, when he do his spectroscopy, and he thought that the right light is redshifted, right? And because he thought because he know that the right light is redshifted, he thought that the galaxies are moving away. But how do he know the what what frequency? Uh, at the time of emission from that star, what frequency of that light was? How he knows? Ah, the, so he the, can compare that. The yeah, it's a, it's a great, it's a great question. So the way the way that we know is because we know how specifically uh, what frequencies different chemical reactions happen with different uh, compounds or uh, atoms. So we know whether certain uh, Interactions that happen with hydrogen or with helium or with other uh, other elements that there is a specific pattern of light that's emitted or actually um, absorbed from those from those uh, elements, and so there's there's the Fraunhofer line. So there's these gaps in the spectrum, very specific, very narrow gaps. Hold, hold on, I, you asked me a question. Hey. I'm answering your question, so just wait. Don't interrupt. I'll, I'll finish when I'm done. Then you can answer. Okay, just give me a second. So we know these from these. Hold on, just wait. You'll get a chance. We have the Fraunhofer lines. We know the very specific frequencies that these happen. So we look at it. We look at a distant star, and we see. Okay, well, we see that same pattern, but it's not in the exact same spot of the spectrum. It's in a different spot of the spectrum. But the entire pattern is the same, just moved to a different area. So that's how we know that that a very specific reaction was happening, and the amount that it shifted then varies based on different stars and how far away they are. Okay, go ahead. Okay, now you are saying that at the time of emission of light from that star, someone magically knows what frequency uh, uh, uh what what is the frequency of light at the time of emission you're saying that it's not you are magic. claiming that without going, it's not without magic going there yeah you don't need to go there to do it yeah so you are just imagine you you someone just imagined no it's, it's, it's not that, it's not a, a, an imagination either this is the laws the laws of physics these these reactions happen and they output frequencies or they, they um, absorb very specific frequencies. And there's a signature, it's like a fingerprint. Any star from telescope, you cannot tell anything. Even when I see the star from telescope, right? I see a star written with my eyes rather than a telescope. Didn't know that. Even you go in the observatories, right? I have seen every kind of stars and planets. This is my hobby. And you think that I am from not from science background, so I don't know. You can ask me any question about cosmology. Go ahead. <laughs> But uh, I'm telling you how those people knows at the time of emission what what was the wavelength of that light. 
Redshift. It's totally a blunder, man. You cannot answer it in any way. You I, can I already did. And if you go that down, then they can agree with you. I and already answered, answered the question. Chemical reactions happen. And these are well understood. The the frequencies that happen uh, cannot be cannot happen at different frequencies for these different events. They happen at certain frequencies. He didn't know at the time of 1930, he don't know any about any kind of refraction. He just observed the light and he told that the right is light is red shifted. The it's the, it's right shifted. Yeah, but remember the frequency. It was 1848 uh, that it was first measured. Not 1930. 1848 that redshift was first measured by Fizeau. Then Huggins in 1868. And in 1871, he measured the velocity of a star moving away from the Earth. 1871. Then in 1887, Vogel and Schneier measured the annual change in periodic change in the measured radial velocity of the stars due to Earth's rotation around the Sun. 1887. They wrote a 300-page 300, 300 you know book they wrote the about it. At the time of emission. Yeah, I already covered that. You don't know what kind of chemical reaction is there. I you are just already, the light. I already so covered that. Do you remember we saw what he said, that no one has ever seen a star other than a light, right? A dot of light. No one knows what kind of chemical reaction, what matter well, it's made. And people it's do know, light. people do know based on based on the light that we get from them, what's happening. Yeah, based on light you're getting, but you cannot compare it like at the time of emission, what was the wavelength of the light? We absolutely know what the wavelength was at the time of emission. No question about who is it. Of the, who, who go and verify that? Nobody needs science. to go there to do it. We know the, the laws of physics. You might not know the laws of physics. I get that. That's fine. You don't need to. But your incredulity about the laws of physics doesn't change the laws of physics. All right, you're you're still you're still muted there. No problem, no problem. So okay, so I, I I I'm going. So I'll tell you to look more things, and I'll send you more things. Uh, whenever I uh, prepare, and okay. I will also give you the animation uh, i'll talk with jaren i think jaren will make uh, because he, he can make and i i he also know about that argument uh, like uh what what the, was the argument like uh, the plumb bob argument yeah so uh like i have talked with him so if he make uh, then i'll send it to you and uh, the other thing i want you to look into uh, the cassini images and uh, the nasa feet things and uh, everything then you will understand that the earth is really flat and it's all a made of story feel free to send it and we can cover it the next time sound uh, good yeah 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 maybe uh, if jaren make it then i'll go because i don't know any other person so I, jaren is jaren's busy he's pretty busy and I, to my knowledge he's not very good at doing three-dimensional no, he's very good in algebra, and uh, he is very good. I have seen his work. Okay. And I have also talked with him in Telegram, and he said, "Yeah, uh, you make it, uh, but uh, I don't have things, so I will tell him. So he may make." All right. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, thank you. Um, but yeah, we should uh, we should uh, we should get your stuff together, and uh, do it again. Does that sound good? Uh, well, okay okay are you saying that uh i should come again yeah that'd be great maybe um january february somewhere in there yeah do you know that this is the south pole of saturn and this is the north pole with the hexagon yeah. you know what hexagon means a six lines it's impossible they're making it this is the eye of the illuminati you can see that it's from cassini and the Cassini have the worst kind of images, man. Worst kinds of images. This is supposedly, uh, you can go in, you, this is sun image from Cassini. So these are all bullshit things, right? Uh, crap uh, images. All right. Personal so incredulity is, is not evidence. Every kind of stuff, man. You you know that it's a classic. <laughs> we use it very uh, before. 
That what? This is the Earth first image from NASA. Earth is crying. It was captured in uh, 1946. Earth is crying, man. This is on NASA website. You can go. Yeah, I mean that's a, that's a picture of the globe. It's it's kind of a flat Earth destruction. I don't know why you're showing it. Yeah, yes, so it's Earth a is a globe. Thank you. Of- First yeah. law of flurf. <laughs> All right. Oh, I got a couple more. Uh, Siggy Sigwell gifted 50 more. Oh, my goodness, Siggy. Thank you very much. Uh, Copper Inquarter said, let's get MC Tune, a.k.a. E equals MC 2N to 20,000 subscribers and Copper Inquarter to 1,000 subscribers for Christmas. That's a good idea. Let's worry about Copper Inquarter. Get him to 1,000 subscribers. He does some pretty cool stuff on there. Some chemistry. Be a good idea for you, New Moon. A Caucasian sensation says this dude is terrible representation of Middle Eastern intelligence. Surely it's safe to say he's not involved with ISA. Uh, well, it, it, you mean IS, ISRO? Uh, but I, I don't know. Is India Middle Eastern or it's is it, it's not quite Far East? It's somewhere mid far. I don't know. Um, In East, yeah. What's Every that? space agencies are in the east so that they can get the boost of thousand miles. Okay. Uh, Chris Hoffman says, breaking news, 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi isn't a radio wave. Thank you for that. Uh, breaking news, uh, <laughs> New Moon. NA, NA gifted five memberships. The Atheist Hammer says, New Moon, get a grip and get an education. Uh, PhD Tony says, you still going? This guy's full of crap. Yeah. And then three Ron says, I bought my ADD. I thought my ADD was bad. This guy is way worse. There you go. Okay. It's South Asia. My, my, uh, I gotta tell you this. Um, my, uh, my neighbor, remember he's, they're from, they're from, uh, the Punjab. And he, I was talking with him and his, his daughter is, is going to get married. He's, she's engaged. And, uh, she's saying, oh, his, her fiance is coming over. I'm like, oh, cool. So he had he has two daughters. The older one was already married to another a nice guy from the Punjab. And she's talking about this. His other daughter, and he goes, he's Asian. I'm like, okay. I mean, he's from India. And he's like, no, he's Asian. Like, I go, you're Asian. <laughs> he didn't get it. His English wasn't very good. But no, he, yeah, I don't he, he was, he was, um, he was Vietnamese. That's what he meant. So my, my Asian neighbor who's from India thought that, that, uh, that the way to explain a guy, a guy from, from, uh, um, Vietnam was Asian. <laughs> like you're Asian too. He missed it. He missed it. Anyway. Um, I don't understand humor in English. <laughs> I don't, I, yep. Neither did he. So anyway, thank you very much, everybody. Um, I do have another live stream coming up. I'm going to do it at 930. Give me a couple of minutes to uh, go to the bathroom and stuff. But uh, New Moon, thank you very much. And uh, we will uh, we'll catch you all next time.